Oh man. Now I, I saw I saw I saw I saw the text message. Um but I still I still do want to know like how, how you felt sitting down watching Raw after some odd months, but we're gonna we're gonna save that nugget. Yeah. Because sure. one thing we have we have to talk about mm-hmm. is goddamn Royal Rumble. Which I, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say that it was a bad Royal Rumble. I just no. I it just felt kind of bland. And I maybe it could have been the fact that there was that there was zero crowd, and I'm not counting the fucking um, Thunderdome and the fucking uh, screens. No, and shit. I don't want to see the I don't want to see the faces and all that. I don't need it's to see a, some rando on a webcam, let alone exactly. 300 randos on a webcam. Everything was exactly. fucking chimed in, and I just I, I I I did I didn't want that. Like, cause the thing is, yeah. it's just. All of us went to Royal Rumble last year, and, and you know what? It just felt so differently, knowing the fact that how it, how the Royal Rumble atmosphere is, and seeing uh, how they had to do it, it was like that was just awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was yeah. awkward, and it was already bad enough, especially now with them having the chimed-in crowd noise. And to me, it's a bit cringy at times. And for them to sit there and just how are you gonna tell me that something's awesome? Let let right. me that's awesome. Don't try right. that in and then have me believe like, that. But that's the I mean, worst thing ever. You said cringy, and that's one of the exact words I used about last night. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, I don't need a I don't need a fake chant of this is awesome that just takes away. I know what the what an awesome match is. True. And True. it's just it's, you don't need to tell me what's awesome. Like I'll t- I'll tell mm-hmm. myself, "Hey, this is awesome." <laughs> well, I I think I think one thing we have to get into, I mean, especially is is, is the fact that rightfully so, the women's tag team match was moved to the pre-show. Okay, hey, can we do yeah. can we can we do ourselves and our listeners a favor uh, a favor with this? What's that? Ooh. Naya and Shayna won. Let's move on to the real show. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, there is one caveat we have to add. Okay. Because because and I, and I learned this as I watched Royal Rumble. I didn't catch the pre-show, but I did I did find this out. Apparently, Ric Flair is quote unquote dating. Oh yeah, he Lacey did Evans. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't know that. It's, to yeah. which, to which, Rick came out in a fit of some weird jealousy and fucked up Charlotte and Oscar's match. Okay, so to give you a brief backstory, I mean, we can move started, on from there. I don't. I don't well, well, it started with that Raw Legends night. Uh huh. He was he was ringside for Charlotte and Oscar's tag team match, and he accidentally called Charlotte and Oscar the match. And Charlotte, uh, about yeah. what early, the, like the first Raw of January or the second Raw of January or some shit like that. It was, and it has been a few weeks. Okay, Charlotte's return. Yeah, and um, he, well, Charlotte got it all in his face talking about stop interfering in my stuff. I don't want you around. Blah 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 blah. And that's when Lacey kind of swooped on in and. Yeah, so that's what that's been it. So yeah, and gave Rick the sugar daddy treatment, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So, yeah. so in some Not, in some cases, I don't know how, right. how it is off screen, but on screen. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I can immediately see, like, as soon as they take off the camera, Lacey's like, "Ew, get the fuck away from me!" <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, honestly, as far as like the the women's tag team match. Nothing good came out of the e- either outcome because no. if you have Naya and Shayna win, they're still a tag, and you don't have Shayna being a singles competitor like she should be. And if you had Asuka and Charlotte win, then you still are gimping Asuka, who's <laughs> your mm-hmm. women's champion. That's another discussion down the line as, as far as like on the mm-hmm. raw because that's again yes. your women's <laughs> your raw women's champion, but. Yeah, Shayna and Nia go over. They reta- they regain the women's tag team championships, and now we're basically stuck with this bullshit. But on to the main show, <laughs> which is yeah, 
Um, Old Berg and Drew McIntyre. I'm glad they did this match first. This this uh, match here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I want to say this because now since we're on video, y'all can see my face. Stop <laughs> fucking booking Old Berg. <laughs> He has been wrestling for way too long, and to be doing the same three fucking moves. Then I don't know if y'all paid attention. The man was gassed the fuck out. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. He was heavy he, breathing. He, after he, that now match. don't don't get oh, me shit, wrong. During the match, I'm not a wrestler. I'm not a professional sports athlete. I know that shit can get tiring. But Goldberg has been quote unquote, quote unquote, built for this. Yeah. And the man looked like he was about to die in you know, Drew's arms. Actual, like the, the actual from bell to bell, you know how long that match was? Like six uh, minutes. Four minutes, four and minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes, 32 seconds. Oh, it was two it. minutes? Oh, shit. <laughs> that man cut his ring time in half. <laughs> yes, Damn. two minutes and thirty-two seconds. Twenty twenty, you can't have longer than a five-minute match. Twenty twenty-one, here it comes. You can't have longer than a two and a half minute match. Oh, <laughs> two minutes. Ugh, jeez. And but thirty yeah. and thirty some odd seconds. This is somebody who comes in and automatically is granted a uh, championship opportunity. Yo. Not been on TV. You just show up on Legends Night, and all of a sudden, yep, there you go. Here's your championship title opportunity. Yet, you have plenty of other people who's been on TV, who's been putting the work in, yet you're telling me nobody else is in line. you got to do something. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to say this, because this was so, – I had a conversation with somebody because they, they kind of got fed up. With uh, with with something I said regarding the fact mm-hmm. that you have the whole Goldberg situation, where he's getting mad about people not paying homage to a lot Ooh. of the past. Okay, this sounds spicy. Okay, so mm-hmm. let's let's take let's take into account the women's division. How okay. many women legends have come back and been thrust into a championship opportunity? You've had Trish come. And do her rumble shit. But she didn't get a title shot. She did not. No. Nope. You had Mickey come in, have a have a match with Asuka on her first return. A lot of people did that didn't watch NXT. Mickey James mm-hmm. returned her first mm-hmm. match with Asuka. Oh. That was, I think that, that was the only time that she got that, that championship opportunity, right? Yeah, because because Maybe. it was a it was supposed to be Trish Stratus, but they couldn't clear Trish. So oh, they ended okay. up making it Mickey James because that's why. Because remember, it was in Toronto, and with <laughs> Trish being from Canada, they were supposed to make it Trish, but I guess she couldn't. I guess they couldn't clear it in time, so they scrambled for Mickey. But once again, still, that was NXT situation, and she got thrusted into a title picture for storyline purposes. So, yeah. Now, see, and now it's, it's cool. so. So that's more so to my point because after that. Mickey went to the main roster and played second fiddle to Alexa. Yeah, she did. And sure did. up to that point, I don't believe she even, I think she may have had one title opportunity against, again, Oscar. I think she has fought for the title since she was on the roster, I think maybe once or twice. Exactly my point. And it wasn't a point where she just came back and was like, oh, I'm here. I deserve this mm-hmm. title shot. It's like it, it just it makes no sense. So you can't sit there and tell me that okay, yeah, you've had women come back, and, but women have come back and they've been putting the work in. Goldberg mm-hmm. comes in as one promo, doesn't have a match on TV, gets thrust into a main event, either wins a championship or gets paid handsomely for a yeah. match that only lasts a quarter of what a match should be going, especially for a fucking title. For so, a title match, I did not realize that match was two minutes. Yeah. Why did they? Why did they just recycle the Lesnar treatment? 
You know, I mean, that's essentially what they're doing with Goldberg. He's like, Lesnar left, so now, who, oh, we need a new big bet who can only last five minutes or two and a half minutes. So why are they? Con- why, why do they continue to do this? Like, haven't they heard the fans groaning about this for at least a year? I mean, I prefer Les- Lesnar to come back and it be especially uh-huh. for that position because at least Lesnar is actually down to have, have a match. match. As yep. well as now, he's not going to put everybody over, but he at least put a few people over. Even if, even if he they, did. you know, because you have the state, you have the situation with with Truth, you have the situation with uh, Brian Balor, uh, AJ Styles, all these mm-hmm. people. He whether he's beaten them or lost to them, he's put them over. Samoa Joe yeah. and Reigns, mm-hmm. Seth Rollins, Goldberg has not done that when Goldberg Fiend was on was on his highest point when he first came in. You're going to tell me that you're just going to have Goldberg come in, defeat the Fiend quickly. Yep. No no hard fought match, nothing. And then just, psh, that's it. But then you're going to have Braun Strowman come in and then beat Goldberg. Right. You no, know, thinking about it, how do you have Goldberg just stomp the Fiend and then it took Seth Rollins, what, a whole ass match in a red filter? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is facts, though. <laughs> it is. So the, the, the argument with, with the whole women, you know, coming back and, and, and taking spots, uh, not even, not even fucking close. Mm-mm. Even Mm-mm. if throw the whole Mickey James challenging for the NXT Women's Championship, even that still doesn't compare to what the fuck they've done with Goldberg. So, yeah. you know, it's it's just fucking ridiculous. But but yeah, so Goldberg lost, thankfully. And, and you know, and it definitely made me nervous with that match going on first with that whole rumor I said about him possibly being in the Rumble. That shit made yeah. me hella nervous. <laughs> Yo, know, as soon as he lost, I was like, "Ah, shit!" Yeah. And then, and then the women's rumble ended up being first too. I was like, "Oh shit!" They giving yeah, him too much shit. rest and recovery. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I wanted no part of it. Like I wanted it at all. Uh, how it went? He, him losing, and then him getting the fuck out of there, and not having anything else to do with the show or anything else whatsoever. Done. And I think he has like. What I think two or three ma- more matches on his on his contract. Good, oh, no. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sorry, man. Like, man. fuck. He's at least be in at least be in max shape. I don't even mean. I don't even care about ring shape. I mean, shit. FTR still does amazing work, and they don't they don't have the six pack that Finn Balor has. But fuck <laughs> Goldberg, if you want to show up and fucking wrestle and get paid, fucking last longer than two and a half minutes. Take more than a than what two claymore kicks and what a suplex shit. <laughs> you saying Goldberg needs some blue chew? I'm saying Goldberg needs probably two blue chews. Goldberg needs a goddamn sensu bean at this point. Shit. Oh. <laughs> damn. Uh, damn. Goldberg, some shit. Look, man, I'm just I'm just happy we can put at least that part behind us. What yeah. happens with with the uh, WWE Championship now, moving forward? I don't know. Oh, I have no. But we'll see. We'll get into that. Um, what, I'm, what you know what? Ball? I just – sorry. To, let, me, let me get a quick sidebar in. I just thought about this. You mm-hmm. said Goldberg's got two more matches left. Two or three. Mm-hmm. One, of them, one of them is Mania for sure. One of them has to be Mania. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and assume – Whoever Edge doesn't pick, Goldberg's going to go after, get a belt at the next pay-per-view, and then face whoever at Mania. Oh no! Don't 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 say that. I, I'll I'll be so. Two mad or three at- matches. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna go ahead and make that conclusion right now. I could be wrong. I don't. I'll, I'll accept it if I'm wrong. But God damn it! I hope I'm wrong now. Shit! Don't do that. Yeah. To WWE. Hey, you you said it, man. <laughs> I did, but you know what? It would be straight out of WWE's playbook to pull some shit like that. It would, unfortunately. So <laughs> I'm just hoping WWE proves me wrong. I mean, 
Exactly. Just, just, just no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they have a track record. Eesh. They have Thank a track you. record. And that, and that's, and that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> Mainly yes. because it's been what is it? Has it been? I think what two, two, three years in a row. With Goldberg being a champ. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yes. We have skipped a year, but because I think it I think was he, what, Kevin I think Owen. He skipped twenty. I think he skipped twenty nineteen. Okay. So probably like just like a, a year apart, basically. Mm-hmm. So, but again, I'm not with it. I'm not hopefully, either. Hopefully, Jaeger's wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Hey, WWE, prove me wrong. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> please prove him wrong. Please. Please, we we want we want absolutely zero part of that. Period. Yes. But yes. um. Oh damn! I just realized that I may have. Well, I mean, hopefully, no one caught it at this point. But yeah, I I kind of spoiled a little bit. Anyways, <clears throat> <laughs> hey, um, you know what? You know what? This is post uh, post Rumble, anyways. So fuck it. I'll spoil whatever I want. Also, I see that. I see that right there. I see that I right there, too. Scoot. I did too. Actually, no, that's not me. I wish oh, that that's was not me. you. No. Oh, is this the magic of the lit Diesel? It is. It is. Oh, oh. I like I mean, this. Hey, if, I, I'm, I'm loving it. If we if we're able to to say it, I think now it's a, it's the best time to to keep that that message going. Oh, oh absolutely. absolutely. Have to. And absolutely. Then, then you know what? May, maybe just maybe we might get the shirts in too. We gonna see. Hey, I will totally rock that. I'm like, I'll totally rock that. Let's what, try and get what, a deal with some pro wrestling tees or something. You know, <laughs> if we if we can get a deal with pro wrestling teams, I'm all, I'm all for it. But um, was the next match the women's rumble? Yeah. Uh, wait, was it the yeah. women's rumble no. or was it the? Uh, no. Because this, this the, the, I think it the, was their card. The, their their match card was weird this year. They did like they did one they did like two matches then a rumble then two matches and a rumble I feel. No, it was oh, No, it wasn't it was, the women's rumble. It was Sasha and Carmella. Yeah, it was oh, Sasha and Carmella, right. yeah. Oh, I thought it was after. It was a women's rumble. No, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah it was because Carmella showed up in the women's rumble. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um this wasn't a bad match. The only downside is I kind of had a feeling Sasha was going to retain which I wanted it. It just yeah, it, just, so, it, yeah. Carmella, it really does because yeah. she's actually rocking this uh this this new role that she's in. Yeah, you know, that her. look she's rolling with too. Exactly. I mean though, I mean you heard Corey Graves take that shot. Even even yeah. though Corey Graves <laughs> even Corey Graves was sitting back like God damn. I mean that that probably that, so that, that's just being being biased though. I mean, it is, but still, <laughs> if you're not in the know, I mean, is it you know, biased it's, if it's, it's true. true? And that's and you know what, you're right on that too, uh, uh, Jaeger. If it's true, you're not really being biased. I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. And, I'm not um, mad at it, and nobody else should be mad at it. So you know, no. Grave, do your thing, girl. On, man. Do your going. thing. <laughs> And you know, I totally have forgot that uh, Reggie was one of the recruits that had signed when um, I think he was in the class when uh, Mercedes Martinez had signed. I think he really? was in that group. Yeah, I totally have forgot that he was part of that group of people that signed. That I did not know. Because mm-hmm. when he had that match against Sasha Banks on SmackDown mm-hmm. last week. I was like, man's is math athletic. And then when I researched him, he used to do Cirque du Soleil for real. Oh, no <laughs> shit. Yeah. So that's why he was, that's why he's so agile like that. Cause he Carmel really used to do sommelier. <laughs> he used to be in Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> that, no, no it, rhyme intended. It writes itself. Yeah. But I mean, I, that, that's why I like this character for, for Carmela because her having the smoothie is uh mm-hmm. it just it just, it, it works for her. Mm-hmm. And, you know and that and, and of course I still like the whole gimmick that her and truth kind of had where they had their dynamic. I liked it. That was great. I'm just, I was I was so upset how just abruptly that ended. Stop, yeah. 
it just no more. I'm I'm glad that she actually kind of had that as a talking point for a character change as far as for a heel mm-hmm. turn because it worked because it, it 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 almost catered to what she's doing now with with um Reginald. So yes, hopefully. Okay, she- what was the word for him? Oh, oh uh, Samulier. Like the, the wine tasting guy, right? Like the guy who's knowledgeable yeah. of wine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somalia. Okay. Cool. I just wanted to make sure that I'm saying this right. Oh no! You yeah. You, you uh, said it. Again, no, I haven't been lay, watching. These, I haven't been watching the weekly lay, shit. These lay is just putting a little extra seasoning yeah. on it. You know, he's been an extra seasoning. I mean, <laughs> I mean, let's let's just be real here. He, he's kind of like a swole Malia. I mean, the dude is huge. <laughs> <laughs> No I mean, <laughs> this is the magic, people. This is the magic. It is. But, um, ho- hopefully, hopefully, Carmella goes on a winning streak after this. Uh, yes. That she needs it. Like that, she should not be losing at least her next five matches because she needs to go in looking strong, especially yes. after challenging for the women's championship twice <laughs> in a row. And it's it's unfortunate for her. It, it it really is uh, because what I would have done personally. Actually, was, actually, it was three. Was it? Oh, there was one on SmackDown. They had one on SmackDown, but that one ended in a disqualification. So yeah, yeah. it was actually three. So so yeah, so my my, my thing is, I would have just had her just go on wins mm-hmm. with her change, and then mm-hmm. after whoever wins at uh, WrestleMania. She then goes for the title then, and maybe she could have had her her losses then. But uh, going off the bat should not happen. But either way, Sasha won. I'm glad that's the right decision. Just the wrong. Absolutely. Person. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah, they really could have had like I don't know Natalia or somebody challenger. I that that would have been fine too. I mean, you could have like yeah. you could have stirred up some smoke over like the last three or four weeks. I mean, you didn't have to have Carmella who's going through a new change, going through a whole new thing with her swole Malia. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make it a thing. Anyways. Uh, it's, yeah. it's a thing now. It, it is. Really is. You know what? Yeah, goddamn right. But, but yeah, you it's going like a, a winning streak or something. But you know what? Not to, not to compare companies, but that's mm. always the issue WWE has because we see in AEW, you challenge for the title, you lose. You you moving on? You back to the line, or you push down in the rankings? WWE, you know. the champion. I mean, hell, Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre fought like five times. Just about, yeah. J- I mean, just like our uh, our main event, aside from uh, a rumble. Yeah. Right. Like, I mean, what was, it, what was that? Kevin Owens versus Roman for the fifth time, right? Third. Yeah, that would be a third. Third. Okay. But still, well, but still, that like was five. three times. Shit. Yeah. But that was three times because, once again, like you said, take Carmella and Sasha. Carmella lost three times. Yeah. Yep. And let's say, let's say she would have won this one at the Rumble. Then it would have been like, how fair is that that she lost twice? But the third time, I got it that time, guys. Then it would have been like, wait, but I already beat you twice. So... Third time, third time's a charm, man. Third time's a charm. <laughs> so, but yeah, so, but that's the only thing I hate about what WWE do with their title pitches the fact that I don't like all these rematches and rematches and rematches just for just because, like, it's kind of like that. Uh, somebody not to cross brand things, but somebody had made a point talk about when you play video games and you fight bosses, yeah, mm-hmm. talk about how it sucks that. A boss can beat you like 50 times and the boss doesn't get no points, but you beat that boss <laughs> once and you move on. <laughs> that's, how, <laughs> that's how that situation felt. Like, imagine if Carmella would have won, and then it would be like, All right, Sasha, you got to move on now. But wait, I've already beat her. Tw- now, nah, Sasha, you got to move I, I, on I now. Re- I got a rematch clock. Now, nah, Sasha, you got you to gotta go or something. <laughs> yeah, you got to move on, Sasha. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear Oscar's champ looking. over on Raw. I think you could take her. <laughs> I think you could take her. So yeah, but that's the only thing I hate. Like it was a solid match, but when you look at the fact that this was their third match, it's yeah. like okay, 
What yeah. more could y'all do this time around? Because it wasn't no special stipulation involved. So it was like, what more could y'all do that y'all didn't do the first two times? True. Exactly. That and that that's one of the reasons why that, that first match that they had was was uh was was way better, in my yes. opinion. And not of course, just like you said, not to say that this match was a bad match, it's just that that first one, it a lot of people had preconceived notions that Carmella was gonna do like subpar, but the fact yes. that she actually showed everything that she had been learning up to this point and actually enhancing her game mm-hmm. and proved a lot of people and her doubters wrong in that case. So now it's like when you see this match, it's like, well, you're kind of showing me some of the same stuff that you have shown me so far. So you're not showing me anything new. Not so you did it bad, but it's just I'm not surprised anymore. So yeah, exactly. But, <clears throat> That that was my thing, but again, Sasha won. Right call, wrong person to lose, though. Anyway, the next thing that happened, and this, I'm pretty sure Jaeger is gonna shit all over this. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I mean, I'm gonna shit over. Look, it too, I'm not. not I'm not anti WWE. I just don't like where they're at right now. Look. Um, no, not even that. I, I mean, what happened after Carmella and um, and and Sasha's match? Uh, oh, performance, oh, a performance from Mr. Barrett with the uh, with the cameo of none other than Houston's own Mr. Booker T. Yes. Yeah, I muted my TV. I did not care one hot fucking second about this. That's that's just about where I'm at. I just I, I, I saw I saw I saw a DJ set, I saw Bad Bunny show up, and I was like, why the fuck is Bad Bunny here? Then I see Booker T in what looks like a shield outfit, I guess. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay, so I see Booker T as GI Bro and I'm wondering why I don't even get a verse out of Booker T. And, and, and he just stands there just with his arms crossed. I guess he's just like nothing. Like, like, I the mean, song I found out is called Booker T. Yes. Yeah. And the video is just like that performance. Wait, seriously? It's just Bad right. Bunny dancing around him and Booker T just standing there? <laughs> well, Booker T kind of... Booker T kind of does a little dance in the middle of it, but for the most part, the video is literally just... Booker T standing with his arms crossed just like that and Bad Bunny dancing around him rapping his rap. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just Yeah, I just if if I could have if I could have just fast forwarded time to get rid of this, I would have done it in like 2 seconds. Yeah. So the problem is Bad Bunny is like the biggest Latin artist out there right now. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. So it makes sense to have so wait, him. Wait, wait, wait! He beat out Pitbull. Oh, Bad Bunny gets Bad Bunny gets views and streams. Like that dude is mega. Yeah. Mm, like, mm. like, like that dude is multi platinum with his albums. And that dude the can't issue, figure out a proper way to put up his hair besides three cotton balls. I guess that's just the style he's rocking I'm not try- now. I'm not trying to shit on him, but I'm just like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> The issue that was was that if you didn't pay attention to because even WWE didn't really promote that Bad Bunny has a song called Booker T until they shot the video. So it was until they shot the video and then it was like, oh, hey, we might have some extra minutes. Let's get Bad Bunny to perform said song on the show. (laughs) <laughs> and yeah, it just it it kind of fell flat a little bit. I, I I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was, but it fell flat. Yeah. I don't See, know even even I would say yeah. Yeah, even even Loki agrees. <laughs> you know, depending on whether I bring this to video next time, because I just felt like our viewers weren't ready for it yet. I might, I might just make the next pre- like little avatar picture. Hey man, okay, okay, we get it. We ha- we all hated okay. it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I hated it. Obviously, you really hated it. it. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's 
and and that that that's more of a reason to to end the talking point on that BS yeah. because the the next thing was in fact the women's Royal Rumble. Okay, I have a confession. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Upon revisiting the women's Royal Rumble and talking to my brother, I thoroughly enjoyed the women's Royal Rumble. Um, it, it's it's funny because we were all texting about this, and I yeah. had, and I and I had, I had that same notion too when I was watching it because I was mad. I was only mad because I felt like I was being scrubbed on a few things, you know, with with Jillian returning. Tori Wilson returning and Victoria returning. Nothing against them. I just it's it's just that whole deal with the fact that there is not enough women to hold like a full on women's or rumble. Unless well, I'm NXT. just the yeah, missus the NXT. missus kept saying Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna Go ahead. say the missus the missus kept saying, Do they have 30 women? <laughs> To be it. I was like, I was like, yeah, in between NXT Raw and SmackDown, they should get by 30. Yeah, they should. I was to say, they had more, way more women in NXT than just the two, no, three that showed up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which was yeah. disappointing to, that we didn't get as many. Oh, I'm sorry, four, because I didn't know about the fourth. Um, I can't remember her name off the top of my head right now, but she wasn't. Santana really, Garrett. Yeah, was there you go. There you go. Yeah, her. Um, yeah. Had no idea she existed. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, the, uh, there was a lot more. Oh wait, no, hold on. Dakota Kai was in there too. Five. Yes. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but still, there could have been a larger amount of NXT representation, especially because the NXT women's division is kind of carrying NXT at this point. So, as soon as I can figure out how to put a little message up there, I will so totally type this message. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. It's, it's, it's a good thing, Loki. It's a good thing. Chill out. <laughs> Let me get him. No, um, but no, I will no. say this. The phrase I have for the Women's Royal Rumble, black girl magic. Boy, <laughs> black girl magic. Amen. And not because, not, and not just because Bianca won. Not just because of that. Oh no! But Naomi, she came back. It's back, y'all. Yes, yes, she's back, and she should have been back a long time ago, man. Yes, she should have had. To be perfectly, to be perfectly honest, because she should have been somebody, and she still should be. Why was she gone that, again? We don't uh, know. Yeah, they never even say she got drafted to Raw and then just never popped up. Was yeah, it because cause... her and like Jimmy? Wait, Jimmy, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was it because her and Jimmy had been getting into some shit like back like a couple years back? Is that what they no, put on the bench for? No, what happened was was that because remember the draft even happened during the whole uh, them all being at the uh, Thunderdome. So when mm. they separated the Usos and Naomi, it was like, all right, that's cool because they're not traveling, so it's fine. Right. And she just vanished. It's like Jim got hurt and she vanished. Sounds like she didn't like it. <clears throat> so My it was like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like she just vanished, and it was yeah. just like, okay, well, well, at least we know she's still in the company somewhere. It's just when's she gonna show back up? And right, she showed up at the R- showed up at the rumble. But yes, black I'll girl magic, <laughs> full effect. It, but it, there was a nice little uh, Instagram pic of. Uh, Yes. It was, yeah, it was. Yeah, you saw it. It was Bianca Belair, Sa- uh, Sasha Banks, um, mm-hmm. Alicia um, Fox, Alicia Fox, uh, <laughs> of course, Naomi. Um, but yeah, it was a great, great little picture for yes, exactly that black girl magic. Um. So I, look, I I did enjoy it out, outside mm-hmm. of a few hiccups. Um, mm-hmm. Alicia Fox was one of those hiccups that I that I didn't really care for. Mm. So mm. all right. But here's there, there there was there was a point in time where Alicia Fox had me intrigued when she started doing that whole like psychotic like crazy shit when she started flipping out on like the fans at ringside. Oh yeah. During that time, I was like, "Yo, 
if she keeps this up and translates that into like the in ring shit, yo, that'll be dope as fuck. But they turned it into something that could have been good and turned it into something incredibly cheesy and more so of the get get the shit off my TV variety. And yeah. so yeah. much so that it kind of just stuck. And my perception of her, not to mention that she's like a former D Divas champion. So, <laughs> which mm-hmm. is, you know, most people wouldn't think that because of Alicia Fox, but she had promise in the beginning and then they just kind of just relegated her to, we're going to make you like a the the great value version of a woman's R-Truth without being any kind of funny. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Bailey being in there, rocked it. Love when Bailey's in yes. there. Hey, look. Yes. I'm I'm oh I'm, I'm, I can I'm very torn with with how I want <clears throat> WrestleMania to play out. Very mm-hmm. torn. Because everything I just know that, I want Bailey in there. I, I do, I do. Because everything that, that Bailey and and Bianca have, have done on SmackDown with their with their mini feud. Mm-hmm. Has has intrigued me to the point to where I can see the possibilities of everything that could happen out of those two, and then Bailey just her character work is on fucking point. Yeah. So wait, Bailey and uh, Bianca. That's is that um, why I saw Bianca carrying Otis around yes. the ring. Yes. 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 Okay. See. For 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 those of you at home, I have not watched any SmackDown. I only gave Raw a chance, and <laughs> that's sad. That's the wrong way to go. That, that, apparently, it is. So yeah, I'm gonna it. try uh, Friday night. I'm gonna try to give Raw, uh, SmackDown a chance as well. And you know what? I'll probably have better things to say about it than what I have to say later on. Yeah, <laughs> but yes. I'm, I'm, say on, I'm on board with you there, Lip. I, I'm, I'm gonna want, get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get real close to this camera right quick. Mm. <laughs> Did y'all see Tony though? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? I think I missed Tony, but I definitely saw Shotzi. <laughs> I mean, but I was, did you see mad. Tony though? But I was mad. That Shotzi got two seconds compared to like everybody else from NXT, and that was the, the but though that was the weirdest thing. Shotzi got eliminated, and it was like another two three minutes before somebody else got eliminated. So right? it was like, well, damn. <laughs> it's like why, why why you gotta do her like that, man? Why you gotta why you gotta shit on Shotzi? <laughs> but Tony though, <laughs> Jaeger Shotzi's it's happening. <laughs> I'll make the shirt my damn self. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I think I think one of the biggest issues I've had with the Women's Royal Rumble, and the men do it too, but I have that issue of whoever comes in gets their shit off. Like mm-hmm. whoever comes in, they start beating people up, and then they they a house of fire. Then it dies down for the next person. Mm-hmm. But I think another right. big issue I think the women have in their Rumble that they need to work on. They do too much just laying there. Oh, yes. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, I think that's the only real issue I really have with the women is that when they just, when they get beat up and they just lay there and it's just like, you're going to just, you're going to just sit it out, right? You ain't going to do that now? <laughs> like, it makes me wonder, like, all the other women that they're sitting, that they're laying around next to, like, do they just, like, shoot the shit while they wait for their, like, two minutes? They, ha- they have to. They have to. They have to. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to do after we get up? Are you going to do like a head scissor? Are you going to do a suplex? Like, who, who are we taking out? Like, do we have to take out anybody? Like, <laughs> like so I'm just trying to imagine those conversations. I also <laughs> want to acknowledge that, yes, Bianca was technically MVP that she won, but an unsung hero in that rumble, the one and only Billy Kay. Yeah, you know, I I was gonna bring that up because character work alone, <laughs> Billy Kay has been able to to win me over because of mm-hmm. course stand out in the iconics was always Peyton Royce, even in NXT. Yeah, Peyton Royce 
always had promise. And Billy Kay was more so, even though she was a wrestler, she was more in like valet territory. Mm-hmm. And now what she's doing as far as a character is intriguing me more so with what she's going to be able to do in the ring later on. Hopefully she actually has something in the back pocket for that because I just don't want all this character work to go to waste. Because no, yes. she's going to revive Jillian Hall's career. They're going to sing terribly. <laughs> and uh... Please, no. You know what? <laughs> Jaeger, no more predictions. <laughs> you know what? You're probably, you're probably right for that because I'm probably going to speak hey. one of these terrible things into existence. <laughs> hey, 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 Lip, I don't know if you can hear me, but we need to start muting his mic. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we're gonna mute his mic you know what i'm saying because he didn't he did already threw out two predictions and uh we need to go ahead and like you know what i'm saying you probably need to do like a wwe thing and kind of delay his audio so that way when you hear you can just kind of ah, 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 ah. you know what I'm saying Something to look into in the future. You know? Yeah, man, come on. You don't want to see a duet. Up. Come on, tell me that you don't want to see a duet of Billy Kay and Jillian Hall singing Sexy Back. Come on. No. Not at all. I mean, when, like, nah. No. Nah, not about it. It's, it's mainly because she never did anything notable when she was there during her time. You know, oh, so- besides bad singing? Well, but you know what? My, my bad. The, the only notable thing she had was when she had that, that shit on her face. Yes, and Boogeyman ate it off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just brought back a Vietnam flashback. I just. <laughs> and then he ate it. He fucking ate it. He fucking ate it. Ah! No. Sorry. He fucking ate it. Yeah, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't want nor need any of that. But Billy K, though. Kind of need that character work. This is, but this is. Yo, I need Billy Kay without WWE's makeup. Sorry, I'll say that about her. Yeah, I can again, agree. For the for those of you who have not seen Billy Kay without the makeup, go to her Instagram and do yourself a favor. Check that shit out, and then and then watch SmackDown, and, and then ask yourself why the fuck are they just plastering this shit on her face like that? It's, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It really does. But, you know, I don't know if y'all want to talk about more in the middle, but to jump mm. ahead, mm. how wow. serendipitous, mm. how serendipitous that Bianca and Rhea both threw out Charlotte. Oh. I look. was so elated. It's just elated like, is the word. That, that, shit, that shit scared me a little bit. It did. Because when I seen the three of them, I was like, please. Don't you don't you dare <laughs> let Charlotte win this. And it was funny because a when fucking you, hat trick. When when you when you right? look at that, when you look at that image of all three of them there, it brought me back to last year where oh, you had, you had mm-hmm. the three of them, and it was like if you would have incorporated that little image into last year's Rumble and incorporate that into the story, and then had the shit go a different way. It would have made more sense, and it wouldn't have had shunned Bianca during that time because Bianca got shunned during that whole. Yeah. Thing. And yeah. Yeah. It just it it didn't it didn't do her any favors, and of course it didn't do any any favors for Rhea either because Rhea got served up to you know Charlotte. The Sean Mc, the, the uh, Charlotte getting. Sean McGinn. She got served up to Charlotte twice, mm-hmm. Rumble and WrestleMania. Yeah. So, Oh, yeah. another another issue I personally had with the women's rumble. Mm. Mm. Before we before we I think this was another one that I don't think a lot of people might have paid attention to. There were so many feuds in that rumble, but there was nobody acting in on it. Because as yeah. long as Charlotte because as long as Charlotte and Lacey was in there together, Charlotte and Lacey should have been the only ones constantly kept fighting each other. It shouldn't mm. have been no I'm going to fight you for two minutes, but then I'm going to move on over to this side of the corner. No, yeah. they should have been always fighting because they are constantly in a beef at the moment. They Yo. should have kept trying to throw each other out and this, that, and the other, but it was they like... They should have been nah, like taking that outside the ring. Somebody should have gone through yeah. a table. It, it, I don't know. Exactly. But, you know, it's whatever. But, yeah. 
Like I said, yeah. overall, when I look back on it, I was like, I'm fucking with it. <laughs> I was fucking with it. And 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 I, and I was the same way. And I mean, and I and I had to think about myself because I, I I can't get mad at it because I keep stacking it up against um, fuck which which year was it where the the it was a men's room where it was, it was just packed with fucking story, packed from 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 uh, beginning to end. Where I'm talking about the one where uh what the stone would Stoko did he go in at one? And him and Vance. And he just kept throwing everybody out and just looking at and just yeah. looking at his, uh, at his fake watch. He yeah, just sitting, waiting for yeah, like that. That, that they whole, referenced that, didn't they? Oh, <clears throat> uh, I, I want to say I, I heard them reference like Stone Cold with that, like looking at the watch. I mean, if they if they did, I completely missed it, and I have to go back Same. and watch to see what they did. Same, but that may um, have stuck out for a second, but yeah. But I mean, but th- it's it's like it's the opportunity. This this one thing I'm, I'm gonna get mad about with the men's room because I'll wait. I'll wait till <laughs> I got a lot to Just talk about. Put a pin in it. Put a pin. But uh, but with with the women's, it like it. They had some spots that I, that I didn't like, but overall, because of the talent that they had in there, and because they've been somewhat can pretty much consistent with with women across all three brands, so I can't get mad. When, even at the even at the bad shit because they they're consistently good with the talent that they have. So yes. overall, yes, it was a good rumble. Just initially, I just had my reservations on it and I kind of psyched myself out. Now, granted, when Bianca won and it got close to the end, I, I celebrated. Was like, oh, I'm all I'm all for this match because the last yeah. they had in there, it was like, yo, this is how the rumble's supposed to look. I'm down for this. So mm-hmm. yeah. But 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 Bianca winning is deserve it. And question Black is, girl, who, who, magic. Who did she choose? Who did she choose? Uh, well, she didn't show up on Raw, so right. I I wouldn't mind because once again, I've been on record many many times before. Mm-hmm. Sasha and Bianca will burn the house down. The. I can't help but agree to that. The dynamic between the two. With the EST and the boss. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my. It does. It, 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 you know what? That's that's the match. That's the match. Look, as, as, as much as I would love to see Bianca and Asuka, that's cool. Y'all can do that another time. Asuka's, Asuka's not on a hot streak right now. At 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 all, like they they have to build her all the way back up. Yes. And Sa- Sasha, Sasha is the way to go. Sasha is the way to go because one, again, and you're, not, you're probably going to hear this on on this show on a consistent basis. Sasha is, if not the best, one of the greatest women's wrestlers of all time. Period. Because she yeah. looks good, and then everybody else in the ring with her also looks good. So imagine, imagine the talent that Bianca has and how much more Sasha can make her look at a higher level. Fire. It, it, it writes itself. Question is, how is the buildup going to be leading up to WrestleMania? Because they're both facing. Yes. So, I mean, a matter of fact, it, it, could, it, could, it could be a call back to how Sean and Brett did back at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. So, Ooh, you, that'd be you, cool. You you give me that. Matter of fact, get, give me a last woman standing match. Give me an Iron Woman match. Give me an Iron Woman match between those two. Give me that. Fire. Be I'd, beautiful. Fire. I'd be all so. Um, it is reported that mm-hmm. Rhea should be a SmackDown superstar. Really, I, she, I really thought she was mm-hmm. gonna go to Raw. I thought she was gonna go to Raw for what she did to Bliss. Yeah, I was. I was since she since that. she since she threw Bliss out right when Bliss was trying to transform. I thought that was gonna happen, but it's been reported that uh, Rhea is gonna be a SmackDown superstar. So mm-hmm. I guess we should look out for her come Friday. I mean, it, she's going to the better brand, so I can't really argue that. 
That is true. This is how, this is how you know Rhea is a uh, is a fan of Dragon Ball. She she threw Bliss out before Bliss could reach her final form. She did. Yeah. This is what it was. It's what it was. This is how you know. She did. See, Rhea, I, I, know, I know I know you love Dragon Ball. I I can tell. You can tell. But, All right. but yeah, Sash uh, uh Bianca deservedly won the women's Royal Rumble. Hopefully she goes up against Sasha, writes that story. You don't have to give me an Iron Woman match, but if you do. Oh, also <clears throat> uh Jaeger, to probably answer your question, Santana oh. Garrett. Yeah. Was probably a replacement for Reckoning, aka Mia Yim. Mm. Nah. <laughs> since uh since uh since Reckoning came down with COVID, mm-hmm. she was probably a she was probably a replacement for Mia Yim. Wait, did all of Reckoning come down with COVID? No, 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 no. Reckoning is just Mia Yim. Yeah, retribution. Oh, oh, geez, retribution. Oh, right. oh, retribution. That's the title. Yeah. The name of their yeah. stable. Reckoning. Reckoning is her name. But yeah, she has COVID, and hence why later on we didn't see Keith Lee either. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 yeah. that was unfortunate. Yeah. Wait, who replaced Keith Lee? Is my question. That's a good question. Probably Hurricane, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people got replaced too because uh, Jay was supposed to be in the uh, Royal Rumble. Wait, who? So what? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What happened with that? I think I think he got hurt. I believe. Wait, wait, who again? Jay Uso. Oh, okay, okay. He got so, hurt. That sucks. I, I believe I believe he might be. I have to I have to look it up. But the uh, um, oh, but next. good segue because wasn't the next match after uh, the women's rumble the Roman and Kevin? That last man standing. Oh God! I gotta say, I actually enjoyed this match though. Like it's like you said, the third time they've been doing this, but this match was actually pretty great. I honestly wish that Orton and Edge's match did this at WrestleMania, right? Mm-hmm. Um, this match actually had me at times believing that KO could win. Sam, I mean. I mean, even though he didn't have, uh, even though he went through uh, some OSHA loopholes to operate that forklift, right? <laughs> but yeah, no, this was this was a this was a pretty great match. Like I didn't like I'm I'm all for this heel Roman. I'm all for this not so face Kevin Owens, but still the face compared to. Yeah. The only thing I can say that disappointed me about this match is that Jimmy didn't show up. Yeah. That, that was one of, one of my main issues as well because of the fact that I think huh. that it, it would it would have been beneficial, especially for the finish of the match itself, for Jimmy to come back because they, right, they couldn't right. watch the finish. I mean, but everybody knows that by now. <clears throat> that that Heyman was one that by the finish was trying to get uh, Roman out of the cups, and I think it would have benefited just the overall storyline for them with KO for for Jimmy to come back and then give Roman that win because it's th- th- this is where I kind of got confused as to what was going on because of the fact that. We we were told beforehand that they had about six six months worth of story written for this whole thing. And it seems once they finished the first two matches with Kevin Owens, that they kind of had this this weird fill in the blank here, here, so we can go ahead and continue this on. Like it, it felt like now they don't seem like they have like an end goal anymore. They don't, they, they don't have an idea of where they're going. They're kind of just piecing things together. And that's what my confusion that. is. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, where did they announce they had a six-month plan? When he first became heel? So they yeah. had a six-month plan for, for Roman. 
Roman and, closed that whole story. Okay, okay, okay. And for some reason, you can't possibly predict who joins him, or you can't like write in who joins him. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, that's just. I don't know. I mean, that's a. I mean, AEW is the other the other end of that stick. I mean, they know who's joining and when and where. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I that's just, that's my biggest complaint, I guess. I I just don't think they. I don't think that they they had any idea who they wanted to challenge for the title. Because in the beginning, you know, you had the shit with 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 Brian, and then you had the stuff with Jay challenging twice, which really made sense, and it was good to kind of convert Jay over to kind of help yeah. him see the way. And then you integrate. Hey, 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 hold on, that's the like next three property, sir. That is Johnny Gargano's trademark. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but yeah, man, it should, it should, now it just seems like it's all it's like this rinse and repeat system, which I'm I'm glad Kevin is is integrated into this because it's helped find his his old school fight Owens fight, you know, prize fighter mentality, mm-hmm. which I'm glad because that's moving forward. That could be something that translates either over to Raw for that championship or down the line to eventually beat Roman. Who knows? But we got something good out of this as far as on the Kevin Owens side. Now, who challenges for Roman's title? I don't know because I, I saw I literally saw him losing the title at WrestleMania, but because he's only really faced about two, three people for the title at this point, I'm just like he 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 needs to have more defenses before he loses it. So that is true too, because I mean he only fought Jay Uso, Braun Strowman, and uh KO. True, and so and I mean they only got what one or two pay per views before Mania. Oh, uh, one. Whatever they're gonna do in March. <clears throat> yeah, that's. I mean, that's two months. Well, I mean, I mean this month because it's. Story. Yeah, so I guess we'll see, but I mean, I guess reports are still saying maybe DB. I, I was thinking that too. Somehow, I mean, I guess. I mean, what, did DB do anything that would be confrontational to Roman in the Rumble? Well, no. With, with his, nothing that they would, nothing that they would hint at. I guess. No, it's because it kind of, it kind of started with him in the beginning of the storyline with him and uh, and Jey Uso because Jey Uso did the beat down. Oh. Uh, on on okay 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 so oh so he's so you could just say that he's got unresolved heat then mm-hmm. I can't hear nobody basically you what so no I said, I said he basically has has that beat on yeah 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 so so yeah he's got, he's got the heat with him that he just had addressed yo yes can I can you hear me my yeah, check, my check. One, two, one, I'm, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> okay, okay. I was like, I lost audio. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you know what? I am uh, I am liking this fact that I can just turn on the camera or mute the mic or mute the camera like whenever I want. That is that is cool. And yes. Man, your fingertips, man. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, it is amazing. I, I can see that I'm getting a little bit of feedback from y'all because for some reason the mic is picking up the speaker. I don't know why. I was like, um, yeah, I am hearing a little echo. Yeah. So whenever y'all talk, I'll just shut the hell up and mute my voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, man. But um, but yeah, it it, it wasn't a bad match with uh, with Roman and KO. I just. This is one of those things where it's like we really didn't need that cage match. And I think that was one of the things that kind of soured me on this match itself because I felt like you could have taken out that cage match, had the stuff with Adam Pierce happen, KO returns, then comes back and said, you know what? We're, we're, we're about to do this again. And then have I that- hell, even, 
Oh hell, even yeah. Shinsuke could have got his opportunity that he was supposed to get that until they did the whole awesome. Adam Pierce bullshit. Yeah, he was my even... Dark Horse favorite for the Rumble, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, and and I'm again, I'm still like on this whole confusion thing of whether he's a heel or a face. I'm assuming that he's face now because of the wardrobe change because and, and the music. Yeah. So they made it sound like he's because like even on Instagram. He's even saying, you know, the king of strong style is back, you know, this is any other. So it makes it seem like he's a face now. I'm down for it. So since he has the rising sun again, it makes <laughs> it seem like he's face again. So I'm happy with it. I'm Dope here shit. for it. Dope shit. Can, can, oh, yeah. He already faced AJ Styles. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he well, did. We need, a, we need a rightful. AJ Styles and Shinsuke WWE match because we do. There, there's there's not going to be one that that tops the one in Japan, but no we need one with uh with less uh dick punches, <laughs> right? To the dick, any, right? Any, any genital shots we need eliminated from that match altogether. We just need them to have a have a straight up just AJ Styles Shinsuke. Go fuck shit up, match. And I agree. <laughs> but that's that's a we're we're gonna because that that's one of my gripes about the Royal Rumble. But before we jump into that, Roman won, botch finish, still right for <laughs> to win. KO is definitely gonna get his 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 time again. He will be a champ again. There is no doubting that at all because he is just he's he's that 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 anti-hero that a lot of people need, especially yes. in WWE. So fight on fight, period. Yes. yes. But now what if Kevin Owens get a gets a sixth match, or excuse me, I say sixth, but well gets a fourth match at WrestleMania. Not happening. I don't think they're gonna <laughs> carry it not that far. Happening. Yeah. But before we talk about the men's Royal Rumble, ooh. Kofi Kingston, Big E. Xavier Woods. That was beautiful. The the Brody Lee tribute attire. Granted, yeah. granted, it was for one yeah. night only. Uh, it made it made for for a dope ass picture as well. It did. They got, they got oh. a thumb up from me over here too. <laughs> now, I mean, if, it, if it was possible to buy that gear, trust me. Oh, I I I put a Oof. bid. In. Mainly, Boy, didn't they sell was... it to to charity though? I know Big E because I know he mentioned it on the podcast that a lot of times he sells a lot of his gear for charity. I don't know what he sells it through, but he did mention he has sold old gear to charity. Huh. Well, for charity, rather. Charity starts at La Casa. <laughs> I need that vest. <laughs> I need it. For real. <laughs> In the words of the great Brody Lee, or uh, Luke Harper in their case, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what the gear was themed called. It was called the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Brody Lee gear. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, I need that's that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, because I, I, again, I thought I thought about uh, Randy Marsh doing the uh, the 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 Lord from South Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, Big E, send me that gear. <laughs> <laughs> but, let me uh, get a boot. That's all I want. Just let me get a boot. Men's Royal Rumble. Boot. The uh, Men's Royal Rumble. Rumble. So they did a switch up. If y'all didn't pay attention, Orton mm-hmm. was supposed to be Orton was supposed to be one, and Edge was supposed to be two. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Really. Orton was supposed to be number one, and Edge was supposed to be number two. So I guess that they. I guess unknowing to us, that was the plan of making go ahead and I guess that was the audible of making Edge win to have him come at number one. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because then they uh, because let me see here. There's there's only two other people, right? Or three other people that have won. One person doesn't exist in WWE anymore. No, he exists in my heart. It's real to me. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, it's only it was two other people before Edge, and of course Chris Benoit would never be mentioned. Which and the other one was Ray Mysterio. Wait, 
Was it Rey Mysterio? No. Yeah, I think it was oh, Rey. It's Rey at one. I think it or was Rey. I think. It was uh, Ray and Sean, right? Sean. It might have been Sean. Sean was for sure. No, Sean was for sure, but I, I couldn't remember who the other one besides Chris Benoit was. That's it. It was They they, they was announcing, but now, unless they admitted Chris Benoit, but they said when Edge won, he was the third man to do it. Yikes. Yikes. So, unless they're striking Benoit out the record books. Yeah. Oh. No, yeah. I think Ray was two. Yeah, Ray was two. He was actually, uh, I guess, one of the longest. Yeah, he was one of the longest. Yeah. And I don't know why they keep wanting to throw in that greatest Royal Rumble stat. That shit ain't – get that shit out of here, fam. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> they, they include the shit from Saudi Arabia? Yes, they, they keep it. mentioning it. No, yeah. stop. Nobody cares about it. At all. It's bad political <laughs> but, press. But uh, shouts out to Ziggs. And justice for Ziggles. 14 justice. Rumbles. Justice yeah. for Ziggle. 14? <laughs> like, Jeez, that is a company man. It's uh, again, That's a bigger company man than Zack Ryder, unfortunately. He could, he could be doing so much better elsewhere. Like, AEW for one. J- like, Japan. I mean, I don't know how well he fit in Japan, but AEW for sure. AEW for sure. Yeah. Um, what are you but, talking about, man? They would love that ramen hair. J- just, just for a uh, <laughs> sorry, a quick, cheap joke. A quick, a quick sidebar. Since we are talking about who would fit well in Japan, apparently, <laughs> Cesaro, I guess, is rumored to be leaving. No, no, no. His contract ends. I think they said before Mania or after Mania. Huh. And he hasn't. And he has. He hasn't resigned. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, which of a call is resigned today? Uh, Riddle. Oh, uh, Riddle. Riddle, and he's and he's there at least until twenty twenty three. Oh, Matthew. That that's 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 sad, man. So yeah, so Riddle is there at least twenty twenty three. Also, <clears throat> before we get into it, I don't know if they y'all also saw, but apparently, Laura Sullivan was quietly fired back in January. What? Oh no, he's got some shit. He's he's done some mm-hmm. shit, if I remember correctly. I mean, I know he has, but they yeah, just... the story the story is coming out today, but apparently they quiet they they quietly fired him back in January, and I don't know if they officially announced it as a company yet, mm. but it's definitely been reported before we before we hopped on this uh podcast. I was seeing multiple reports that oh that old Larzy boy. That 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 naughty boy got fired. So <laughs> naughty boy. That hey, naughty boy. We're adults here. Tell us what he did. Tell us what he did. Okay, so back in his teenage days, he used to be on forums. Actually, no, his early adult days, he was on forums and things, saying some very racy things and racial things. Yeah, I love the <laughs> and definitely some things involving Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, I mean, I've got some racy things to say about Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, but we're not in. We're not in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and when he was signed with the company, apparently he was sending some very racy DMs to women. Oh, yeah, to some then, uh, models and pageant winners, I believe. Yeah, and then to just put more icing and the little cherry on top. <laughs> Come to find out, he did a gay porn. Wait, this I didn't know. I did not know about the gay porn. <laughs> Are y'all see what? I knew that. I knew that he was inappropriately sending DMs. I did not know about the Stephanie shit. After and I the did DM, not know about the gay porn. <laughs> after the DM story, it was reported that in his twenties he did like a gay porn. Oh, man. yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting flashbacks. Didn't somebody else in professional wrestling do some do some porn or some gay porn or or maybe both? I mean, there's a, there's a few women who did some softcore stuff. Yeah, there's a few women. Uh, no, yeah. I'm talking about a guy. I could be wrong. Oh. Hmm. Now, are you talking about like amateur stuff? Because if you want to talk amateur, then you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody. Woodsy. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, Woodsy. Yeah, I feel like... yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Sorry, um, Woods. Sorry, Woods. I love you. Sorry, Woods. So, Woods, uh, anything you want to talk about? <laughs> oh no, no. We, oh, trust me. I love. I. I W that's not WWE. That's all Woods in the New Day. But I love Woods for even allowing that into the conversation on the air. Like that was that was a beautiful opening bit for New Day. They're just it was. They it was. Like, who was that? Was that Kofi or Big? No, it was Big E. Big E's like looking directly at Woods, going, "So, uh, anything you want to talk about?" <laughs> and then Woods like stares into the camera, and he's like. WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, you got to acknowledge it before everybody else does. So, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But yeah, so <laughs> all right. But yeah, back to the men's Royal Rumble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, this is look. Well, man, glad, go yeah. ahead and go ahead and switch that camera, these ladies, uh, because uh, apparently you got the you got the opinions for this one. Look, and I'm glad I'm glad we brought up. Ridley. Oh, is that you doing it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad we brought up Riddle mainly because of the fact that watching him and watching a lot of people allowed me to see one clear thing in this whole entire match. And that was how much talent is wasted in WWE. As I watched this entire Rumble, I saw matchups, I saw feuds. I was like, yo, this. That'll be a dope-ass feud. That'll be a dope-ass match. Where the fuck has this been? How come this shit hasn't happened? Right now, give me Riddle and Shinsuke. Give me Riddle and Brian. Look, Brian and, and Riddle damn near had a full-on match up in there. They did. Shinsuke and Riddle started to, and that's what gave me the glimpse like, yo, I want to see this fucking match. You can't have guys like Riddle held down like this. Like that is again, that's a bona fide future champ. You can't tell me anything otherwise. I'm hitting the mic because I'm getting uh, so frustrated. I mean, if we care, because you know, ultimately the way I feel, fuck this guy. Hulk Hogan thinks Riddle could be the superstar of the future. I, I agree. Once again, fuck Hulk Hogan. But yeah. <laughs> He thinks I mean, Riddle can be a bona fide superstar. I could agree as long as Riddle stops, you know, texting people he shouldn't be texting. <laughs> as long as he, yeah, I uh, think he's, I think he's done with his, that. Yeah, I was say, as long as he keeps his nose clean, yeah, I can definitely see Riddle as a as a top guy. And apparently, him and Seth apparently buried the hatchet as well too. Oh, he had like legit heat with it, Seth. Well, it oh, was yeah. from his wife. Riddle's mm-hmm. wife posted a picture of Becky in her outfit before she left. Oh, and okay. she was talking about how it bothers me that women doesn't... It was a picture of Becky from behind. And okay. it was talking about how it bothers me that women don't take the time to, I guess, make their butts look the best or whatever. And I think Riddle kind of agreed with it. Well, of course, you're talking about Becky Lynch. And Seth Rollins was like, Say, fam, you're talking about the missus there. And then, because Seth Rollins had made the comment, I have no interest in working with that guy. Yikes. Hence why the draft happened. Seth got drafted to SmackDown. Riddle got drafted to Raw. Because they didn't want them to be on the same show just in case a fight Something broke pops out. Off with their wa- yeah. About their wives. <laughs> yeah. And- but apparently they settled their beef. Yeah, that, that was my thing. Like, I, I got surprised I, when I, I seen them like acknowledge and then like engage. I was like, "Oh, all right, let's see where this goes." But sure enough, yeah, I kinda, I, I didn't know for sure that it kind of they buried the hatchet or whatever. Yeah, case, but it was hmm. it was reported. I think uh, Monday. I think I saw that it was reported that apparently they buried the hatchet. So mm-hmm. okay, and it was. And and yeah. wh- and while we're on the topic of, of Seth Rollins, why did he come back with the Messiah gimmick? Like that's his I mean, thing. He's the Messiah. <sighs> you gotta, he, we gotta, we gotta let this phase just pass on through. Yeah, but what what is what is he gonna do though? That's the that's the question. Is like what where where does he go from this point? Like I mean, because he, he 
with the I, I can't see the Messiah gimmick being like a face unless you're like know. doing like that whole like cult following thing like with the fans and you have to have fans in attendance for that shit to happen. Kind yeah. of how Bray Wyatt was with the Fireflies, like. Which is why know. we probably won't see him until WrestleMania. No. Who Seth Rollins? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was making the cheap joke, but yeah, that that's fine though. I, I would I would be okay with that if he just stayed off TV and was like, you know what, I'm not gonna have anything until Mania. Cool. Ooh, nah. what if that was the deal? Like, okay, well, if Becky can't come back and do ma- and do a Rumble, you got to come back and do a Rumble real quick. <laughs> I mean, hey, they hey, if one of them had to make the money at that point, right? Yeah, by all means, get the bread. Um. But, oh. Uh. Can we all? I mean, I mean, I'm gonna say this. Know, I'm we? secure in my manhood, and I'm fine with my manliness. Uh oh. But <laughs> since when did Carlito get so jacked up? Maybe what? I need to start eating apples. No, no, no. You start spitting in more faces. That's what it is. <laughs> Maybe so. Carlito came back just yoked. Carlito came back in the best of ways. Like, he yeesh. Did. He did. Uh, I, look, I was I was surprised because I, I did a double take. I was sitting there like, whoa, hold wait, 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 hold on. What? Because <laughs> hit, and I was like, oh, Carlito back? And then when I seen him, I was like, oh, he got to be back, back if this is the case. Because you ain't yeah. finna, either you've been working well. to this. Or you got the 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 uh, the green light to be like you know hey once again back. once again he so from it was reported that he supposed to he was supposed to do what MVP was supposed to do last year apparently they do want him to come back as a producer oh okay but remember MP, MVP was supposed to come back as a producer but he just started showing that damn MVP <laughs> is that dude again hey so. Maybe maybe the match Monday might have been maybe a send off for Carlito or maybe it could start up the fact that he could be a producer or whatever, but they do say that they want to hire him as a producer. Okay. Well see, I of course I didn't I didn't watch Raw, so before we even get into Raw, I'm just gonna ask this. Cause he had a match, right? Yeah, him and Jeff Hardy fought uh yeah, Elias yeah. and uh Riker. How 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 was he in that match? He wasn't oh, he bad. Was the only weird thing was he didn't come out with an apple, and he was visibly saying, like, hey, where's my apple? Where's my apple? But <laughs> other than that, he was good. I mean, I don't know what Carlito – I know he's been wrestling on Independence, so I don't know how steady Carlito was wrestling. Mm. So, But, of course, you know, in WWE, you can't hate <laughs> – sa- I, I hate saying it this way, so please forgive me, people out there. You can't oh. wrestle like an indie wrestler. You got to do the WWE style. You got to do the WWE yeah. style. So, of course, you know, you might miss a couple of steps. Mm. But he didn't look bad. That's cool. The match, the match just wasn't good. But he didn't look <laughs> bad. I mean, look at the card, though. I mean, it's Jeff Hardy and Carlito who – did they ever wrestle together prior? Yes, they mentioned that they had oh, a yeah, feud over yeah, the did, IC did, title. Did. Yeah. You're right. No, no, they had a feud, but they didn't like they have not wrestled together like as a team yet. No, 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 no. Yeah, and that, then, was, that was the first and then, time. And then it's Elias and Riker. And I honestly gotta just call Riker an Elias clone with like a weird back tattoo. Um he's a new roadie. Exactly. Yeah, he is. <laughs> like, oh. that's, that's the exact impression I got off of Riker. Also, too, goddamn Christian. Uh, yo, Christian came back in fashion. And Christian, yo, this I, I, I even got a little emotional seeing Christian because it was like, wait, he can wrestle now. So Christian, and he, and again, he, he, he also looked good. But I'm not surprised because, of course, him and Edge, best friends. If one is coming back and looking good, then you got to believe that Christian. Following by proxy is gonna come in. I'm gonna give y'all a little scoop now. Uh oh, uh oh. Big E posted an interesting picture on his Instagram. Remember when Big E won the Intercontinental title back when he was still Big E Langston? Uh huh. 
he was supposed to have a match against Christian that never happened. And Big E posted that photo and just left it out there for the table for us. Like today? Yeah. So oh. I think Big E's trying oh. to say, hey, Christian, let's do this. I'm just saying. Which, 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 and is I'm all for it. The same. Which, which picture am I missing? He posted, I think, I think, he, I think it was on his Instagram or maybe his Twitter. It, it could have been his story. Might have been his Twitter. Might have been his Twitter. Huh. So are, are we, are we getting a, uh, a, uh, Christian and Biggie champion uh, intercontinental championship match at WrestleMania, possibly. Because possibly. I'd watch it. I'd one hundred percent watch it. However, it, I need Biggie to win it. Same. Same. Well, yeah, I mean, I, th- I think that goes that goes without saying. I do agree like, with that. That go that definitely goes without saying. You know what? Maybe like a maybe like a handshake or a hug at the end. Just a tie I can see all that up nicely. It's WrestleMania, at least. You know, <laughs> come on. I mean, but let's talk about the fact that how Edge won that thing, though. Look, like, I, I of course, I think yeah, we were texting. I, I did kind of call it. I said it was either going to be Edge or, I think I said Brian. Yeah, man, Brian got thrown and I lost it. I <laughs> lost it. Yo, I was not happy when Brian got thrown out. I lost it. My wife was making fun of me. Oh, you you, you started stomping around the house at the deep. I said, I wouldn't stomp around no damn house after Daniel Bryan got eliminated. <laughs> I was I was I was heavily step I was heavily stepping when stomping. Well, I mean so Edge winning. Going to WrestleMania. He's got to win. Yes. But who does he fight, though? Who does he, he go against? To mm-hmm. me, there's only one person that he can go against. And that man, clearly, Drew McIntyre, or whoever is champion on Raw come WrestleMania. Period. Now, I've heard the rumors, and they say it's supposed to be Reigns. Stupid idea. I agree. Stupid fucking idea. Mainly because it doesn't make any sense for any story. And yes, I get it. You win the World Rumble, you get to choose who you go against. But what sense Rain does it honestly bad. make? It it's 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 almost like the same thing with with Bianca choosing Oscar. It's like, yeah, she could do it, but but why? Yeah, exactly. But why? So. So yeah. Um, oh, also, it was announced. Now, uh, you didn't. Uh, now you didn't see Raw, uh-huh. but Edge Edge had told Drew that he was gonna go see Roman Friday on SmackDown. Yeah, Edge didn't outright say he was fighting Drew, but it was announced today from Edge himself. And then, of course, it was officially announced. Edge said, hey, my wife works at NXT. I need to stop by there. And then they officially announced that Edge will be on NXT tomorrow. So I guess they kind of throw in the ether. Could he challenge Finn? Well, again, after, that's another match that doesn't need to happen. After, after Charlotte chose Rhea... I, you know, NXT is also an option. I keep forgetting that. Now, it doesn't benefit anybody at this point. If Edge goes to NXT and, and tries to do that as far as like no. with the NXT championship because exactly. I just look, I, I will tell you this now <laughs> if Edge tries to compete for that, it's nothing against Edge, but if Edge tries to compete. For anything NXT related, he is going to get re-injured. There is there there is no way around it. It is going to fucking happen. He's gonna have to have the safest matches ever. Yeah, 
Well, I mean that, or you know, Finn Balor gets injured again. That's that's definitely not going to happen. Well, hopefully, Edge will be on NXT tomorrow night. And I, I, I think it's really just. I think it's a misdirect. I think it's mainly just to sit there and just build up. It is. Him going on to next Monday, saying, "You know what? I've surveyed the landscape. This makes the most sense for me, Drew. Me and you. Period." So, with that, who the fuck goes after Roman? I still think it might be Daniel. I think somehow Daniel might end up happening. Do you think there's a possibility of a multi-man match? If they do a multi-man match and if we eliminate Oldberg and if we eliminate Brockington, please and just keep it <laughs> edge challenging somebody. And so if so if we keep it edge and Drew, mm-hmm. Roman and Daniel make sense. Cause KO mm-hmm. should be out the picture. True. Yeah. So I can see one on one matches. I can see one on one matches. I can see Daniel and Roman, Edge and Drew. Okay. I can see it just like that. Because if I have to throw in somebody else, maybe Roman, Shinsuke, Daniel. But I can see one on one fights. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that also now see now now it's all this damn fantasy book and shit. Mm-hmm. Because now because it seems like everything's forming uh within SmackDown, Raw is a bit different, but as far as SmackDown it seems like things are kind of just taking a certain um course. And that's especially with the Intercontinental Championship, because now it's starting to show like there's more competitors for it, you know, Sami Zayn, Shinsuke. Uh, possibly Christian at this point, if he is on SmackDown or if he has a Legends contract, and I guess he can go wherever he wants. Um, <clears throat> who, who who else is there? Chad Gable, Otis. Mm-hmm. The I mean, there, there's there's a way more possibilities to build a sustainable and very much suitable mid card on SmackDown than Raw. And with Big E being at this point the the leader of the mid card right for now. So he's he's going to be a world champion. That was also a rumor too. What? To Ro- Roman? Roman and Big E. Huh. That you was know, also a rumor too. I, I I thought about that last year, but oh now, shit! Now it's clicking. I just I I got Ultimate Warrior Hulk Hogan vibes. You know when you know with the championship for championship. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I don't. I got. <laughs> I got New Japan vibes right now. <laughs> just, just, oh. uh, just uh, make them freaking Biggie two belts. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, I and now if that match was to happen, I I wouldn't put it as Biggie because I don't, I don't think Biggie would would win, but I damn sure would think there would be a a, a good a ass solid match. yes, absolutely. So. No now, man, last one. It's not it's time for Biggie, when, and ultimately Xavier Woods. Now the question is, though, if that match happened, would you would you really sacrifice Intercontinental Championship? I, I'm match? pretty sure. I, I would think they'll have Biggie lose it. Hmm. At some point, yeah. Yeah, I think they'll have him lose it before he goes against Roman. If if Biggie and Roman is in the cards at some point. I can see them. I can see them making uh, E lose it to somebody. You know. Okay. Mm. Now, mm. because now, now I have to jump back to to Drew and Edge, because mm-hmm. there is something looming over the horizon in the form of a uh, Money in the Bank briefcase. Oh, shit, I forgot about that damn case. <laughs> <laughs> I call shit. that. I'm calling that within the next pay per view that he cashes in. Huh. I totally forgot about that damn money in the bank. No, you know what? I, I, God. I, you know, I don't even know when it expires now because it's been so. I, I think it's, I think it's from, I think it's from money in the bank to money in the bank. That's what, I, yeah. So he'll okay. either cash in next pay per view or WrestleMania. 
So he has until was it June, July? Just I about. think. Yeah. 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 So. so he okay. So then he he might wait till whoever whoever is champion after Mania to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I so but with, with more than that, Miz is going to win a championship. Yeah, I can see he, that. He he's 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 going to be a world champion again. Now, hopefully. This is going to be a a title reign that legitimizes Miz, so that way he can actually go down as a credible world champion rather than a credible intercontinental champion, mid card champion, tag team champion, whatever. So that way he can usher in Morrison finally getting a world title championship. Yes, because that's another person who also deserves it. So. Look, I got to ask y'all the question of Sunday night. Who mm. had the better top rope splash? Bad Bunny or Snoop D-O-double-G? Well, uh, for the memes, definitely Snoop. It it, it, it it was not Snoop. It wasn't Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I... For, 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 for those of you who have actually listened to the podcast, you already know that I, that splash that Snoop did was horrendous. Snoop, hey, look, man. Oh, music, beautifully. everything you do outside of that, football coach, everything, man. Good shit. Hold up. Let me just. Good shit. <laughs> Jumping on the top rope, splashing. It's not in your wheelhouse, man. It's not. Look, again. Neither is remixing superstars entrances. Sorry, just 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 cut it, uh, please. Again, this, this but, look, but look, it's funny because he's one for one because Sasha's remix is on fire. This is very true. Yeah, that's right. But that's his family. That's that that's, is true too. That's also true. But for Cody, and look I, again, this is not an AEW moment, but we're gonna I'm gonna break away and just say this right now. Cody, change it back. <laughs> change it back. I know, look, I know Snoop's your homie. I know he did you that favor, but it was not a favor for me and anybody else who loved your previous thing, your real thing, your only thing. Get it back. Get it back fast. <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> You know what? It was either it was either you or Scoot that said it, but whoever whoever said it, <clears throat> anyways. I just hope it runs for the length of this season of Go Big Show. <laughs> like once that show is over, just 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 go back to the regular entrance, man. Just. I, I kind of want to see you. I, I kind of want to see the chandelier go up. The gates. The I liked how you threw in the pearly gates. Now that's that's pretty cute. But like, just just drop the Snoop shit, please. So I, I have a I have a suspicion. <clears throat> the Snoop music is probably gonna last until he goes on paternity leave. Oh. Which we might have to endure another like four or five months of it. I was about to say, wasn't oh. Brandy like three months along by now? So we might have to just deal with it a little bit longer. Either, 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 oh. either when the season is over with, or until he goes on paternity leave, and when he comes back, that's when we're going to get the original music again. Don't do that to me, man. That is that is man. a long way to wait, man. That's at least four to four to six months. It is. It is. I don't want it. I don't want it. Take it back. <laughs> I mean, the only good thing about that is that it's going to take him off TV for a bit, refresh, allow some other people to get into the spotlight for a little bit, and then, you know, get us to a point to where we miss Cody again, which, I mean, we're always going to miss Cody anytime he's not on TV. But, yeah. But to, to hark back on to the Rumble. Yes. I, I hope that this Rumble was an eye-opener for WWE. Oh, absolutely. I hope so, too. They, they they can see that they have talent that they can actually place. And 
before we even get even closer, like the end of this, we have to talk about Damian Priest. My boy. Because, again, somebody else. The Archer infamy is in that thing, baby. Watching him, everything that we've said on, on Tag Me In, we talked about, you know, uh, our NXT recaps. We had already stated that Damian Priest was fit for the main roster. We just didn't want to see him go, but he was always fit for it. And yes. the questions that we had was, would he actually fit in, even though he is fit for the main roster? And the Royal Rumble was probably the best way to introduce him because it allowed us to see him in a, in a multitude of ways with with a multitude of opponents and the possibilities of what he's able to do with at this point, anybody Mm -hmm. I'm super intrigued and I'm even more so intrigued with what show he actually goes on. Oh, it's raw. (laughs) It's raw. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever, whenever we discuss Jaeger's take on raw, it's on raw because he, he was on raw with bad bunny. But the way did they did they officially say he was on Raw? He officially said it on his IG. Oh God damn it! I so to know. He, it's Raw. You know what? You know what? That actually might work. It might work. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how he goes. But as of right now, he was the guy that Bad Bunny brought out to retaliate against Miz and Morrison. Yes. Okay. That's the- wait, 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 wait. We'll discuss that. We'll just we will. We will. We'll, we'll hit it. We'll hit it. You know what? I got. I got like. I got to like reserve five minutes to go on this rant. Oh no! But oh no! We're gonna give you more than five minutes, sir. Oh, okay. I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna introduce it for you. Oh shit! Look, Edge won the Rumble. He's gonna choose Drew. He's gonna go on this whole NXT SmackDown road to WrestleMania. Who am I gonna choose? Misdirecting, and then come next Monday or Monday after that, he's gonna say, "You know what, Drew." It's me and you, WrestleMania. Let's get it. End of story. Mm-hmm. We need to talk about this real shit. So you know okay. what? Take it away, Scoop. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so last night, you know, it was the Rumble. It was the Raw after Rumble. And our good pal, Jaeger, that was his first time watching Raw. Since oh. October, yeah. And not only watching Raw, Give but he did it. He did it like me, and virtually watched it in totality. And for the next however long he wants to take, we're gonna let him give you his thoughts. If he wants to do it from segment to segment or just overall, it is on him. But I'm telling you, those messages I was getting last, well, we were getting last night. Comical. <laughs> it is. It not, not only was it comical, but it was coming from a man who wanted better, expected better, but did not get better. So, with that being said, Jaeger, please take it away, good sir. <clears throat> oh, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. I'm gonna go down I, 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 I got to get the audio in optimal performance. <laughs> Look, okay. Before, before, so, before it starts. So. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Go ahead. Handle is is it better or is it worse? No, no, no. Oh, no, you good. You good. Okay. Okay. I mean, I've got 6% left on my battery. I just unplugged the charger. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. <clears throat> Anyways. I jumped into Raw at 7.30 p.m. I'm 30 minutes off from watching it. Sorry I missed the start time. Whatever. I come into this shit, and it's Matt Riddle with four refs. Excuse me, just Riddle. But with four refs, and he's asking what happened. Dad, do you want me to fill you in right quick? No, 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 no! You don't have to because oh, okay. the announced team and their magnificence that they ha- that they are, 
decided to let me know about it and uh, show me the video footage. Apparently, Bobby Lashley has destroyed Riddle, who had an amazing rumble showing. Apparently, Bobby Lashley just did a Chris Masters challenge of sorts. <laughs> oh, he uses he uses it and calls it the uh, Hurt Lock. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But but before he started using it, he did post on his Instagram of when he defeated the Master Lock Challenge. Oh, God. And Chris Masters posted, hey, since you broke it, you can use it. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, glad we got that cleared up. Yeah. So who can really use the Master Lock. But, um, excuse me, the full Nelson. Um... <laughs> The full Nelson was applied to Riddle, who then, after being draped over the ropes, passes out. And then Lashley throws him to the ground, picks him up again, and then throws him into the the space between the barricade and the webcams. (laughs) I say webcams, but there's screens that show the people on the webcams. Anyways. That was how I started this, and I'm just looking at it like, wait, Riddle just showed out, and now he's getting wrecked. Okay, WWE, whatever. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Welcome to Raw, welcome to WWE, or welcome back to it, I guess. I can't solidly remember the next match, because it felt like 30 to 45 minutes more of promo time. I think it was. After that match, what was it? Was it was it the Lucha House Party match? It might have been the Lucha House Party versus or, or was it the Xavier Woods versus Ali? I can't yeah, remember. Right. It was Xavier Woods yeah. versus Ali because apparently Ali has a bone to pick with Kofi because Kofi got the push when Ali got injured. And that's what retribution's all about, apparently, is Ali getting getting what's owed to him. So instead of attacking the, the, the current champion, he attacks Kofi Kingston instead. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> so they have a match. Xavier Woods wins. That's all that really needs to be noted. Um then it goes in. Then, then there's some more story. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm going to put a slight smile on y'all's faces before you keep oh, ranting. Okay. With <laughs> Xavier Woods beating Ali, he's two and two against Retribution. Oh, right. There is a, there's a best of five thing going on. Now, for some reason. on uh, Raw Talk, he was on Raw Talk with Kofi Kingston, and he was like, I want to fight Reckoning. I need to fight uh, Reckoning. I want reckoning, so I can so I can so I can go up three two against retribution. But the sidebar is over with, Mister Yeager. Continue. <laughs> okay. He wants to fight Mia Yim. I mean, reckoning, whatever. <laughs> in her in her uh, what is that immune immune system compromised state right now? Immunocompromised. Like, she got COVID. She got COVID. win. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. She she's just threatening to cough on him. But wait, she wears a mask, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, oh, that was that was the thing that threw up a red flag for me, though, was that between the Kofi match and the next match, there were at least two, maybe three storylines that were pushed. Not to mention Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross was advertised. This is around 8 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross did not happen until 9.30. Why the hell are you advertising that match as like it's uh, before your commercial break as if it's next? And then, oh, hey, here's Lucha House Party versus, what was it again? Hurt Business. Hurt yeah. Business. Oh, sorry. Job match number two, I guess. <laughs> job and... And it was for the Raw Tag Team titles. It was a title match, and it felt like a job match. It went, what, 10 minutes? Something like that. Yeah, it went 10 minutes, and I'm sorry, it still felt like a job match. 
I'm, like, you're, no. you're not putting, you're not taking titles off of the her business, especially on a Monday Night Raw. Don't, don't, don't bullshit the bullshitter here. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they um, yeah. right. <laughs> anyway, um, after that, it was what was it? Uh, wait, wait. Pretty, after that, was it? Wait, go ahead. Pretty sure it's probably some promos. No, no, shitload of promos, but I, I honestly think it was Lexi and Nikki against... No, 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 wrong. It was it was Asuka and Charlotte. Oh, yeah, the triple threat. So they had a triple threat tag team match to determine who was going to fight Asuka and Shayna. And it was Asuka and Charlotte versus Lana and Naomi versus... Uh, Dana Brooke and uh, Mandy Rose. Oh, Mandy Rose. Wait, now, wait, hold, this, on. hold on. This was the point where I texted y'all to, "What the hell happened to a rematch clause? Why? Why is Lana and, and Naomi teaming up? They just because them they, together because they dance battled at one point. Yeah. <laughs> they. That's, that's all I got is that they feuded at one point, and now that they're both back, so yeah. they're both gonna tag team, I guess. That's okay. about where, yeah, exactly. I'm just, I guessing through these pairings, except for you. Well, hey, hey, hold, you know what? I, I don't want to take the glory from you, uh, Jaeger, but Go I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna voice my anger with this. Go for it, man, because I'm sure it's on the same level. Normally, when they have triple threat tag team matches, they've been doing recently, been having triple threat rules. We're having all three, we're having three competitors in the ring. That's beautiful. I love that. I they foregoed it. They foregoed it with this match for some reason. It's whatever. I have always hated the concept of a triple threat tag team match and only two people in the ring. And yeah. they foregoed that with only having just two people in the ring. Except the for biggest, dumbest thing that happened throughout the whole fight. Because Oscar, because, well, before. Charlotte promised Oscar she wasn't going to let things distract her, that they was going to get the belts back. Thank you. She promised her before that. During the match, Oscar spoke Lacey, a lot well, that match. <laughs> really? Rick Flair's music the, hit. The promo. Rick Flair's music hit. Lacey all comes out. Oscar, not sorry, Charlotte proceeds to just leave. Immediately. Soon as the music hit, she just took off. She tagged in Oscar and left. She didn't run up the ramp to go fight Lacey. She sauntered. Then, then Oscar's looking around like, uh, where's my partner? Then Naomi, with all that ass, hits Oscar with the rear end. So now Lana. And Naomi are the number one contenders for the women's tag titles. So I guess they're going to give Lana some type of measurement of revenge. But Charlotte Flair walked off on her partner because the music just hit. After she said, no more of that. Then not only that, I don't even know what the fuck happened with Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke. It's like they just disappeared. (laughs) Yeah, I don't really. I wasn't a hundred percent paying attention to the match either, so I don't know what happened to them. But yeah, all I, all I, I from what I immediately remember, I hear Ric Flair's music, and mm-hmm. then Charlotte leaves, and then Oscar just gets her ass beat. Mm-hmm. And again, making the woman with the longest win streak. Look even worse. Why do I have a feeling that this whole trust issue that Team Oscar and Charlotte Gaddon have is going to lead to Charlotte going to WrestleMania and challenging Oscar? It's one hundred percent leading that it's, way. It's it's definitely going to go that way. All I can say is. I better not see Charlotte win that belt again. Look, for, for those of you who don't know, look, because Jaeger clearly hadn't watched since October. 
I stopped watching Raw about a good at, at the very least three weeks ago. So I haven't seen a Raw. Oh, I've been that. saying it. And I'm sticking to that clearly because this bullshit is is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. Look, I'm not stupid. The the quote quote unquote WWE universe isn't stupid, yet we're being treated like that, and I don't like it. Yep. So, um, me and I'm me and Raw. We we we're on a break. I'm on strike right now from Raw. So this is why I'm just baffled at the stupidity that's still going on. Oh, we're not even done with the night. Oh, I know. Oh, no. Oh, 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 another part we forgot to mention. Hold on, hold on. Another part we forgot to mention. They showed a Bugatti pull up in the parking lot. (laughs) And out steps Bad Bunny. Because the biz, the Miz has invited him to be on Miz TV. That that was was fine. That was the next. That was that was fine that they said that, but they did a quick cutaway to show that Bad Bunny was backstage talking to Damian Priest. So they ruined the debut by showing Priest is there. Wait, that's the way that he was. They they showed they showed Bunny getting out of the Bugatti. They're like, oh, what's he doing here? And then they reveal that he's been, you know, uh, a guest or announced as a guest for Miz TV. And then they cut away, and then they come back, and it's like right before Bad Bunny comes out, they show they're like, "Bad Bunny's up next," and he's chatting with Damian Priest. Oh, so Priest never came up to Bugatti? No. All right. Only Bad Bunny came out to Bugatti. Okay, Raw. Okay, W. So. We get to that next match or that next segment with Miz TV, and Miz is all being Miz about how, oh, Bad Bunny, well, we would love to work with you despite the, the shit that we just did to your equipment last night and the fact that you disrespected us. You know what? We're sorry for that. Can we get an apology from you? And Bad Bunny pretty much gave him a middle finger and said, here's, here's your opponent tonight. And... There was no pop. There's no surprise because we already know who Bad Bunny is about to announce. Because he was just backstage talking to him. Literally just backstage. So when I see Damian Priest show up, I'm like, okay. I, 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 I knew this was happening about 10 minutes ago. Not only that. Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, the selling, though, the selling by the announcers is just, oh, my God. Like, and then the Miz TV segment lasted way too long. Oh, yeah, entirely too long. They tried to speak Spanish to him. It sounded like, comprende, amigo? I, I was like, no, stop. Just, just... Ugh. It sounded like a Karen trying to go to her like favorite Mexican restaurant, and she thinks that she can speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we really put it in perspective, he's not lying. And the thing is, I can tell, and you can even tell, Morrison knows a little bit of Spanish from, I guess, his time he spent with the AAA and Lucha Underground. Underground. But it just sounded so, like he said, like a Karen who knows a little bit of Spanish, a un poquito of Spanish, (laughs) and was trying to just use it. And it was like, nah, fam, that ain't it. Why, why, look, why are, why are they doing priests like this, man? I don't know. Like This it's... was the worst introduction for an NXT star that I think I've seen. I can probably agree with you on that. I don't, look, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want this. No. I don't want this. Oh, well, okay, so this is the thing. Oh, so no, during the match, especially when he was announced, he came out just like his NXT, or he came out in his NXT style. And then he points yeah. at the Megatron, his name lights up, all that fun shit. And see, and and that he... was the part, and see, that was the part Gager was saying because when they was about to get in Bad Bunny's face, Bad Bunny was like, but no, I brought a friend, and the lights mm-hmm. went out, like Priest's entrance, the lights lights went out, and they was like, oh, what's happening? What's going on? Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> it's Damien Priest from it. 
like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Like, like, like we, they, knew like, we knew Dan. Was, they, didn't they say that he was chatting backstage? Like, the announcing themselves acknowledged Damian and Priest by name. Yeah. They announced yeah. that he was chatting with Bad Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then, so to kind of help Jaeger out a little bit, Bye, Bad man. Bunny, of course, is sitting ringside. And, okay, well, sorry. Damian Priest comes in, and the first thing he does is sock Miz in the mouth. Then, of course, typical WWE fashion, when it comes back from commercial break, Damian Priest and Miz is battling, like, okay, so y'all just made a match. That's fine. So, Damian Damian. Priest and Miz Mm. is fighting. Bad Bunny sitting ringside. And it came to a point to where Miz was trying to, Miz was about to use the uh, briefcase Mm. to uh, cheat, and Bad Bunny grabs the briefcase. Morrison walks over and was like, hey, that's not yours. Give that back. Bad Bunny hands it, and Bad Bunny had this special <laughs> Bad Bunny had this special pink microphone, yeah. and, he, and he hits Morrison with the microphone. No, 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 but you're forgetting <laughs> the fact that Morrison goes like, gracias, amigo. Yes. <laughs> right before yes. Bad Bunny hits him in the face. Yes. Then, of course, Miz see all this. It leads to Damian Priest, of course, hitting the reckoning, which the missus has some great jokes with that because I was like, I wonder with Priest having a move called the reckoning and Mia Yim's name is called reckoning. And she made a joke about maybe maybe he wants to hit that reckoning from the back. And I was like, I don't think he's leaving like that. (laughs) I mean, I mean. Now I need to see Keith Lee and Damian Priest fighting for the reckoning. So, but yeah, so of course he hits the reckoning, he beats Miz, and the image you show the lovely people happen with Bad Bunny and Damian Priest. So Damian Priest's first feud in the on Raw is gonna be against Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey, ho ho. Look, no. <laughs> No, 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 at at all, because it's not, it, look, I want, I want absolutely none of this. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. It's here. It's here. It's true. It's, it's, it's here. I, I don't, look. I don't want this. Oh, it's here. Look, look, again. Give I like, me three people that Priest should be feuding with besides Miz and Morrison. Wait, who Priest should be feuding yeah, with? Yeah, should be. Like, instead of Miz and Morrison, who should he be properly feuding with? He should be feuding with her business. Ooh, That can happen. Ma- mainly because, I mean, look. Her business, MVP has done wonders with that stable. And mm-hmm. to keep them fresh. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. <sighs> I forgot you haven't been watching in a while. They've been uh, teasing Alexander and Benjamin in what? fighting. I, I know I know about oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the commentary. Going on. I didn't know. Oh, okay. doing it, though. oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So it wasn't as there. Last night, mm-hmm. but last week they damn near came to blows. Oh no, they they definitely showed um Benjamin so when, tagging himself so in. And do you remember? Dirty. So do you remember when Benjamin and um Alexander won the tag titles? Yes, against New Day. Remember mm-hmm. when Benjamin was about to beat? I think it was Kofi or Woods. I can't remember. And uh uh. Alexander tagged himself in, and then he hit the uh, lumbar check and won the titles. It was a beautiful lumbar check. That's what happened last night. They was <laughs> on the same page, and I think it was Grand Metal. No, I think it was Lince Dorado, I think. Alexander was about to deal the final blow to Lince Dorado. Benjamin tagged himself in, and Benjamin hit the uh, pay dirt and won the titles. Yeah, And that's how that went. They did the okay. reversal of that. And then, of course, you know, 
they celebrated, but of course, you know, they was Alexander and that, you know, they were staring each other down. But yeah. <laughs> I mean. But yeah, Hurt Business and Priest wouldn't be bad, especially mm-hmm. Lashley and Priest. Yeah. Because that, that's ultimately what, what I would want as well, because, I mean, of course, the, the potential of Drew and Priest going at it, but I'm like, yeah, we can let that wait. But Priest and Lee. That can happen. Keely need need needs opponents. Shit, priest and Sheamus. Pri- oh, oh. The small thing that Jaeger forgot. The show opened with Edge. I didn't catch that. Oh, yeah, this was the, this was the thing he didn't catch. So the show opened with Edge. No, I'm sorry, Drew. My bad. The show opened with Drew, and then right when he said Edge's name, Edge came out. And Edge, Edge <laughs> basically, Edge was getting on Drew because Drew was being such a nice guy. And in the midst of all that, Seamus came out. And of course, you know, Seamus and Drew, of course, best friends, this that, and the other. So Edge was telling Drew, you know, he needs to stop being such a nice guy. Somebody might take that title from you, this, that, and the third. I'm going to go on SmackDown on Friday. And right when Edge left, Seamus hit Drew with a bro kick. Oh, so they finally had him turn. Yeah. For real this time. <laughs> yeah, they finally had him turn. The, the only disappointing thing about all of this was that later on, when they asked McIntyre about this, which honestly should have been within the same hour, but it, right. was, around eight, it was around 8.30 when they finally got McIntyre on this. <clears throat> They ask him, so so what do you what do you think about like Seamus broke kicking you? And he's halfway teary eyed and he's like, Seamus, what you're about to do is throw away twenty years of friendship, twenty like Christmas dinners spent at diners, this and that. Like he cuts a great promo about it, and honestly, I thought he was about to cry. It did seem but, like it. Huh. But shit, man. Like, I, I guess I know who your next pay-per-view feud is, but yes. at the same time, I don't know. Like, I just, I was like, I just didn't feel like, oh shit, about this, you know? Well, again, that, that's what I, I assumed that that was going to be the feud going into Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Was gonna be and Drew, but of course, that didn't happen because my my prediction was that it was going to be Sheamus and Drew. They were going to have a just a fucking dog fight. Both of them be tired of shit. Drew goes over, but he's so tired. Miz comes out, cashes in. Bam, Miz new champion. And then we got that, but we didn't get that. We got Oldberg mm-hmm. for some could, odd fucking reason. Could probably and, get that McIntyre and Sheamus match now with, yeah. the, with the Miz yeah. cashing in. Absolutely. And I think that might be be the next match as far as like for the pay per view. So, yeah. and then of course whoever wins that goes into WrestleMania, which is not going to be Sheamus. I mean, there's a yeah. possibility. Yeah, no, it'll be Miz. Nah. All right, yeah. uh, Jaeger. So you want to discuss the Jeff Hardy Carlito versus Riker and Elias match? Eh. <laughs> Car- Carly, Car- I mean Carly, Carlito looked. I mean, we've already talked about how Carlito looks great. Um, Jeff Hardy and him were an odd pairing, but uh, this was again to showcase people that are coming back. So, of course, Carlito and Jeff Hardy won against Riker. I mean, excuse me, uh, Elias and his groupie. So, <laughs> that's just about where I'm at. What I had a problem with. Was the fact was when we finally got to Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross. Mm. Wait, now, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we before we get to that match. Oh shit, is there something else I'm forgetting? They announced early in the show that Edge and Randy Orton was the main event. I mean, they typically do that with Raw. They're like, Oh hey, we ooh, had a great ooh, show ooh, here. Here's ooh, our main event. Ooh, I see that face. I saw that face. I saw it. I saw it. I saw that face. He didn't like uh, that. He did not like that. But why though? To show the robbery. To show the robbery. Uh, oh yeah. So somewhere amongst the show that we were watching, um, Edge cut a pretty damn good promo about yeah. how 
Well, actually, no. Randy Orton cut one first, but Edge's was, in my opinion, better. Well, well hold on. It, Randy's was kind of that rinse and repeat, like, hey, I tried my best to put you away for, for good so you can be with be Beth and father, the kids. Take care of your family, all that stuff. Okay. So, similar yeah. Okay. It was basically a similar talking point. But Edge, Edge's... Oh, go for it. Just tell him, Scoop. But yeah, Edge was basically like, look, I need to beat you so I can put you in my rearview mirror. WrestleMania is ahead. I have bigger fish to fry at this point. So okay. we're going to settle this, Orton, and leave me the fuck alone. Okay. No, like he, got, he got a bit more emotional in there, too. Like He yeah. started talking about, like, you think – you think I'm thankful for like not being able to like pick up my kids or something like that? I was just like, damn. <laughs> he, he drove it home. Like Edge cut a great ass promo. For yeah, that. it was a good promo. And okay. I'm pretty sure that might have been some other bullshit, but let's get to it. Alexa yeah. Bliss, Nikki Cross. Okay, so when did this Alexa Bliss multiple personality disorder shit start? It started, uh, it kind of. It kind of went into rampant after Randy Orton burned the thing. Okay. So that's when she's been, you know, like tormenting Randy. They've had a feud back and forth. Mm-hmm. Last mm-hmm. week, I caught, the, uh, I caught the replay during Raw that he had apparently RKO'd her after yeah. she fireballed him in the face. <laughs> which, <laughs> which, which is funny enough to see. Which, uh, the yeah. missus, which the missus say Randy Orton heals beautifully, by the way. Because he I had mean, no damage at WrestleMania. Yeah. I mean, at Royal Rumble. At WrestleMania, I no. But Rumble I mean, but I mean like Royal at the Rumble. end of that night, he was all red in the face, like he had some burns or something. But yeah, he so, but yeah. Oh yeah, no the healing process is immaculate. Apparently, yeah. go from like a tomato to nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> now the kind of story of this match. Nikki Cross was saying, I thought we were done with each other. Right. Why are we she's fighting like, each other again? We, yeah, she's exactly doing that, going like, what, what What? do you want with me? Like, why are we doing this? We were best friends. Now, like, now, you, you chose your path, essentially. Mm-hmm. And Alexa is just completely unresponsive to this. She's just being the child, according to the announced team, the child version of herself. So her character, you know how Bray is like the Firefly Funhouse Mr. Rogers? Yeah. She's his joyful, childlike co-host. Did she ever get, quote-unquote, converted into this yes. shit? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. She did get okay. fully integrated because she was even on Firehouse Fun Flies and everything, too. So <laughs> Alexa's Playground is her spinoff of the Firefly Funhouse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, because she was definitely, um, she definitely was swinging on a swing set all by herself, looking at the next swing set next to her. It was like, did you see what we did to Randy last week? <laughs> That's supposed to be Bray. Oh, she's talking it? to. Yeah, okay. Okay. it's supposed to be Bray. She's talking to. Okay. Which at this point, I'm glad that, as far as I have, I have been because I'm sure he hasn't been on TV since. No, Bray has not been on TV since he was burned. So, thank you. you yeah. Did, I mean, great right. for continuity purposes. Yeah. Well, not not for Randy, of course, but Right. I think when when I when I saw those images of him with like the the lucha mask, I was like, yo, if they go this route and have him, have him like be like all like mentally discombobulated, it only lasted a week. Yeah, that's so I'm like, why didn't you stick to that? Cuz I that that almost had me like, yo, maybe I need to go back and check this out, see what they're doing. And gladly I didn't, because it would yeah, y'all, y'all I would have been like, oh, you got me, you motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I didn't. So so yeah. Okay, but, so uh so uh Jaeger, tell them the, okay. the uh the discovery you found about Alexa and her powers. She has the ability to manipulate time, apparently. Because Nikki Cross starts dominating at one point. And Alexa, rather than like show that she's in pain or anything, she starts doing this giggle shit. She uh, goes to a corner. Uh, oh, sorry, Nikki Irish whips her into a corner. 
and then we do a camera cut, and next thing I'm hearing is Alexa Bliss's music. Like, oh, like, Alexa Bliss, what was her nickname at that point? That was it Five Feet of Fury? Yeah, some shit like that. Anyway, you hear her old music, and it's it went from blue shirt, little, like, like uh, overall skirt thing, and pigtails to her straight up ring mat or her ring gear, like within a second. <laughs> like as soon as you heard that music, she's over there. Her hair is down. She's like on the like she's in the corner, but like leaning on it, like like she's ready for a fight. And she's completely snapped out of the kid version, and is like, "Nikki, we're friends. Like, what's going on? Like, what's like uh, here? Give me a hug or some shit." And <laughs> Look, I can understand Bray going from Mr. Rogers to The Fiend because that's simply a cinematic into a match. I am not, I am 100% not with this quote unquote live changing of appearance, like a whole wardrobe change, a whole hair and makeup wardrobe change. Supposed to be done in like what two seconds, and you're calling that live? Don't you yep. lie to me, WWE? <laughs> like this is bullshit. And not to mention the fact that she went through again another change back to the kid version to then go on and beat a very confused Nikki Cross. Which honestly, I would be in Nikki's uh, same boots on that. Point. Like I would just be like, what the fuck am I fighting here? <laughs> now, she remixed her version of Sister Abigail, and she debuted yes. it last night. That, that shit is sexy. That really? shit was hot. So she does it. So she so she does it like the Sister Abigail normally. But mm-hmm. do you but you remember how the way Dream does his DDT? How he yeah. does it the, the way yeah, it looks like he's about to go arm. for. Uh, Russian leg, not a Russian leg sweep, but a um. Ah, what the fuck is the name of that move? The uh, is his DDT. Yeah, how it looks like he about to like the like the downward spiral, but he switches it to like a DDT. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's yeah. how that's how it was. Like she did it, and then she does this, like her with her thing, and then she cuffed Alexa's head, and the sister Abigail turned into. Uh, kind of like a crossroads, kind of like a crossroads DDT almost. Like it was, it was a pretty sexy variation of the Sister Abigail because that's that's what she debuted last night. Which I huh. guess was the whole point of the fight. For yeah. some reason. Now, what you have not seen, Jaeger, she has her fiend side, and her fiend yeah. side is her hair in these big, kind of dis- dis- ruffled pigtails. Like uh-huh. puff balls, uh-huh. and she's wearing all black, black lipstick and everything. Okay. And when she's in that mode, she can't feel pain, and she's like a ninety nine in reversals. A ninety nine in reversals. <laughs> <laughs> like I like it. She's a ninety nine in reversals, and that's the <laughs> that's kind of the that's kind of how she was in the end, which we will get to that. But that's kind of yeah. how she was a little bit in the end. Like she yeah. went into that. Like she kind of went like I guess half and half. I don't know because like what no because that like overall skirt thing was black, but her her shirt was the uh, blue shirt with yeah. the like, little chibi version of herself. Mm-hmm. Like that little smirk. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so ultimately it led to like I said, Alexa Bliss winning. But like I said, her her variation of the sister Abigail. Was hot. pretty sexy. That, that was some. That was some hot shit. Yeah. Now, it, what I did like was the in between because as soon as that match was over, Alexa Bliss is walking back up the ramp, and I mean, it's like two seconds after her win that Randy Orton says, "I'm I'm coming out," and they yeah. meet halfway up the ramp, and Alexa Bliss stops and looks at him. But Randy Orton keeps his face straight on the ring. So yeah. He doesn't even like, he's not even acknowledging her existence. And she's just looking at him like. And she kind of skips on, like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
And then eventually Edge and Orton have their match. And no, 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 Randy Orton and Edge have maybe one of the best matches that I can attribute to WWE within the last year. Like they had fan. That match was great. Like I wouldn't say that was a bad match at all. That match, in my opinion, I mean anybody else can have their opinion, but fuck, that match was great to me. So was it better than the uh, the greatest match ever? (laughs) The only so the difference with me between the, the difference the difference between their black the, their backlash match and this one, the backlash match was able to have what thirty minutes of them going at it. This one had about twenty. 15, 20, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And okay. I mean, and, of course, you know, once again, Edge broke out the old moves. He did the execution. He did the edge o uh-huh. Oh. He did the. He tried to hit the anti venom. He did try to go for that. And, I was, and honestly, the anti venom was a new thing to me because I did not catch that backlash match. Yeah, that's his. I, I that, was his that. that was his submission. That was his submission for Randy Orton. That's why it's called the anti venom. Anti venom, right, right, right. Yeah. They mentioned that in the uh, commentary, and I was but like, yeah. "Oh shit, I need to go back and watch this." I mean, Jaeger, Jaeger is in line. I'm gonna say this: the match was great until the end. Oh. And I was so pissed about this end. Yeah, a lot of people was pissed about the end. Okay, cool. So, get this. We're coming to the climax. We're coming to the ending. This is a fantastic match. It deserves a fantastic ending. You're thinking, shit, Edge is definitely going to win this. How is Edge about to pull off this W? Because we're looking at, what was it, 958 by that time? Yeah, you know, Raw tends to go off at like 1007. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they ended a little early then, but anyways, it's looking at nine fifty eight. I'm like, shit, what's going to happen? Who's going to win? No, excuse me. How does Edge win this? But anyways, next thing I fucking see, and I and I get it because of the story continuity, but I'm so mad at it because it didn't need to happen, especially for these two. Mm-hmm. Lights go all fucky for a second. And and again for some like some fucking how Alexa Bliss has teleported to the ring post of one of the of one of the corners and is just sitting there, legs crossed, looking at Randy Orton. And start oozing black yeah. shit from her as mouth. Soon, as soon as Orton makes eye contact, <laughs> you start seeing just like horror movie levels of I guess what is black ooze, like he just said, just come, just pouring, not pouring, but like steady streaming out of her mouth. I mean, the uh, like the imagery in my head, it looks dope. But... I mean, if you if if you find it, it didn't look bad. The okay. downside was it ruined the climax of the fight. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. Like if like, it was, if this was if this was if... a different match. If this was Randy Orton versus anybody else, it would have been perfect. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. I would have promoted but, it for the story continuity between him and Alexa. But to say this was supposed to be the final match between Edge and Orton, they should have had a legit finish. But time manipulating Alexa Bliss is on the corner, on the turnbuckle, oozing black shit. Orton sees it, turns around, eats a spear. A spear from Edge. Now, from that spear... Time manipulator is gone. She's completely gone. She hasn't. She didn't hop off and like hop off the ring puzzle and skip up, skip up the ramp. No, she is gone. <laughs> and Edge like, gets the one, two, three. Like as soon as he hits that spear, too, because as soon as Edge spears him, like pins him, that's it. One, two, three. Well, yeah. yeah. Like I said, it was a cool little image of her doing it, but it was like. It shouldn't have been in that match because now it's looking like Edge couldn't win a match. 
like it's like it's like it's like it's Edge needed it a, like Bliss needed to show up. Yeah, like Edge needed a distraction to win. Hmm. So clearly, we're not done with uh with Fiend and Orton then. No. No, not at all. I mean, I, I'm okay with that just so the Fiend can get a win because he needs that win back. Because yes. But still, this. I, uh. But yes, that was the one notice. That was the one glaring thing the missus noticed. He was like, "How the fuck can they call this live?" And like Yeager is saying, it would have been different if the lights went out fast enough, and maybe she had the old unit under the new unit. But yeah. the fact that she had a completely different look. Like, it's like there's hair, no man. way hair was this is live. Like, yeah. Went from pigtails, like looking like childish pigtails, like, you know, they're a little messy. Like you can see hair fraying out somewhere. And then within two seconds, her hair is done up, like Alexa Bliss style done. It's all down. It all looks good. And she's in a <laughs> whole different ring set. And then they had her change back. Like if you would have just told if you would like like Scoot just said, if you would have like maybe cut the lights, maybe went black light or something, and Alexa's gone, probably under the ring or something, and just getting changed. Mm-hmm. I would have totally been okay with this. Now However, you're calling this live. There's a watermark in the corner. I see it every fucking night that I watch that I even care to watch this shit. But there's a watermark right there saying live. Don't lie to my face and tell me this is live. <laughs> now, when, when you definitely have Alexa Bliss doing some cuts. Or some people, some, some people did notice that the one thing that fucked WWE up is the one thing they was trying to be innovative with. People notice with Alexa Bliss's changes, the images of the fans were not the same. I would yeah. think. Yeah. No, nah, 100%. The images that, of the fans were not the same. So that's how you know that that couldn't have been a live situation if the fans <laughs> have changed. You know so, what bugs me, though, is that what do these fans do? Do they have to sign like a... Um, you just sign up? Sign? No, no, no. But, right, you sign up, but do they have to sign any kind of a waiver that they're not going to say anything about this change that just occurred in front of them? I guess not. Like, I don't know because you're you're a fan and what like hold on, let me understand how this works. Do they do the people that sign up to have themselves broadcasted? Are they seeing on their phone screen what's happening? They're seeing the exact same thing we saw, so yeah. they didn't see. So, so we're seeing the camera cuts and all that shit. Yeah, whatever, they, whatever, whatever we saw on Raw, that's what they yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. And they and they change the positions of, of, of the fans throughout the nights. It's like you don't you don't have the same amount of fans, or you, you don't have the same fans in each screen. Like they'll switch them up every now and then. So like move them around. Okay. Yeah. So so even if it goes to commercial break, they go to commercial break. True. Okay. So yeah, this honestly, as a like if I'm a fan, then I'm signing up to do this like live broadcast shit on my phone. What in the hell am I supposed to do slash say when I see clear, like, the, fa- the fact that you definitely had to cut so this woman can change her outfit? Mm-hmm. And that's one of my concerns as well, too, is because, like, when, when fans get back into the arenas, you can't continue to do this same gimmick like that. Like, you right. can't, you know, go because you'll, you'll literally have to switch up what you normally do because... If you sit there and say, oh, yeah, Alexa at this point is OP, like she's going to sit there and change, you know it's over with. If she can't do that same stuff when fans are in there, it's going to water down everything that she's done up until that point. But I think the I don't mind her having the powers that she's doing, especially in the now times. Mm -hmm. The issue that happens is it's the same thing. Like, why does she keep reverting back to the old Alexa Bliss? And then and then there's even sometimes she'll revert back to the old Alexa Bliss and then she'll be like, what am I doing? Help me. Why am I like this? Like, what am I, you know, like, how did I get here? Like, like, like she will, she would act like she's confused. 
but she's just playing into it. And then, of course, time manipulation, she'll go right back. <laughs> and then, what? Put it this way, uh, that that image of her getting RKO'd, uh, Jaeger. Yeah, that was her in her fiend form. Oh, so she so she didn't feel that RKO. Probably not. Jesus. But but the show cut right after he hit it, so you know. But yeah, because like I said, her fiend form, she doesn't feel pain, and her reversal skills is ninety nine. Plain and simple. <laughs> like you can't even because like when she fought Oscar, because that was when she fought Oscar for the title uh, right. last week, and that's when she switched <laughs> to that mode. And she was about to beat Oscar until Randy Orton RKO'd her. Don't throw fireballs at dudes and you don't get RKO'd. I mean, <laughs> basically, right? <laughs> but yeah, so overall, uh, Jaeger, uh, thoughts and feelings overall? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take a step up from Lip and say, you know what? I, I think we just need to start seeing other people. Um <laughs> I think I think we've uh, I think we've accomplished all we we can accomplish together. I, um, I'm starting to talk to this one girl. Her name is SmackDown. Um, <laughs> she seems like she's a cool chick. I'll uh, I'll check out on Friday. We got a little date planned around. Was it seven o'clock? Yeah, seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Raw Raw. I don't I don't need to see Raw for a while. Oh, one other thing that bugged the living hell out of me. And I mean, this is just the thing that WWE does, but it's just the the rapid, 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 rapid camera cuts. Yeah, that shit is wild. All right, they did that in Royal Rumble, and they did that on Raw. And honestly, I was just confused. Like, can y'all just pick a fucking angle? <laughs> like, you have a you have a hard cam that shows what two hundred people on on webcam screens. And and the hard cam angle, I, I oh I found that out from Raw last night. There's apparently nothing on the camera side of the ring. No, it's nothing. No, there's absolutely nothing. But they showed like a corner, and they just showed that it was just like a big black void over there. And I was just like, <laughs> th- th- thanks for letting me peek behind that curtain. But <laughs> just just chill the fuck out with your camera cuts, man. Like you don't. I, I can only imagine the guy in the booth like trying to direct cameras. He's like, okay, three, now two, now three again, now two, now one, now 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 three, now one. All right, now now two. Okay, now stay on the hard cam. That, that's your that's your boy Kevin Dunn directing uh-huh. track. Well, he <laughs> don't need to do it anymore. <laughs> well, to uh. To pick things up and end it on 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 a on a much lighter note, I was thinking about the whole uh, reckoning bit with uh, with Priest having the reckoning and saying, you know, reckoning from behind. And one yeah. thing, one thing popped in my head, and that was that <laughs> that was this, and. For those of you who don't know the book. Oh, shit. That's amazing. Oh, I don't know. Please, by all means. So, so basically, what, what, what it is, is it's, 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 it's something on TikTok that a, a, lot, a lot of girls will go on with their, with their regular garb, you know, what, what, what they usually wake up in or what they go around the house in. And then once the beat drops on the song, it's they, they end up switching to like them all dolled up and like they're they're sexiest. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the uh the bus it challenge? Oh yeah, yeah. it's bus it. It's not the shoe yeah. thing where they throw a shoe on and whatever. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. no this, this is the bus it challenge. And so, and so oh shit. Me and Yim had had hers. You you doing us a favor right here. I've seen this, so I, mean, I know what I have not. This is and and so so just 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 keep in mind Damien Priest. Reckoning from behind. Oh no. Hold on, there we go. Get to show off the abs first, huh? That's great. 
Because <laughs> you, you led up, you led up to that perfectly. You did. So it, all I saw was like the Keith Lee face, <laughs> but it was it was the way it was it was fucking perfect. But oh my god! Again, out of out of everything, Royal Rumble, Raw, the potentials of what could possibly happen, SmackDown, WrestleMania, NXT. Any closing thoughts on anything that we've discussed today? Scoop. I'm excited, I'm excited of a few things. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are still some things that you know may be a little cunny. <laughs> but I'm still I'm excited for what could happen. You know, some matches look like they could be forming. I will say they kind of fucked Damian Priest on his debut, but that can be fixed. Because, I mean, they fucked Keith Lee on his debut, too. But wow. um, Royal Rumble overall was a decent, good pay-per-view. I'm not mad at it. Um, did y'all see Tony Storm, though? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I just, I'm just hoping Oldberg and Brock stay out of it. They don't, have, they don't, need, to, they don't need to go nowhere near Mania whatsoever. <laughs> Two or three matches uh, left, man. <laughs> right, but... I'm excited. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna just revert everything. Just keep it simple. I'm a little excited of what could possibly happen. Absolutely. I'll leave it there. Jaeger, closing thoughts, my man. Uh, did anybody else catch Shotzi Blackheart almost shoot Billy Kay in the face? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, uh, no offense to Billy Kay, but I kind of wanted to see you like take a take a tank bullet, like a Nerf bullet, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been it would have been hilarious, but the fact that she like jumped because she was like scared by it was hilarious as well. <laughs> um, Shotzi, you were done in injustice at the Rumble. Um, I, I, I more than cordially invite you to come try some Jaeger Shotzi's over here, but uh, we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, Rumble itself, though, solid, solid pay per view. Um, I don't really say a whole lot about that about WWE recently. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll be your resident WWE hater, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have reached that conclusion anyway. Um, Raw, though, yeah, I can I have three hours of my or two and a half hours of my life back, please. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the Alexa Bliss stuff and Damian Priest getting a shitty intro, I I did not care. I did not give. One rat's patootie about it. Makes sense. Uh, okay. but, but also shout out to a new day because you know they always they always got my heart. Shout out. Uh all right, Mr. Mr. Deasley, what you got? My thoughts tend to stay the same regardless. Uh legends need to take their place, stay in their lane, allow the future and present to Pave the way for the future. Ooh. What's going to come after that? Because look, for all for all the look, nothing against legends. You had your moment. You had your time. There's no need for you to take spots away from people that's more deserving, especially those who are in the trenches right now. Because as much and Goldberg, Olberg, sorry, Scoop, as much as you would like to say that people need to have more respect. And if it was back in your day, you showed them, look, back in the day, they didn't take spots away from you. They didn't, when you went on your undefeated streak, when you won the US title, when you won the world title, nobody came and stepped in your way and took yours away. You, matter of fact, you took it from Hogan. Just saying, just saying. But that's, that, that's enough on that either way. I just hope that that there was a magnifying glass on Royal Rumble and that WWE has finally kind of taken into account what they actually have and take it into consideration that after WrestleMania season or even during that they start to utilize their talent in the best way possible rather than just wasting them away because Ricochet, AJ, Riddle, Big E, I mean, that Big E's in a good position right now. Cesaro, Shinsuke, you have talent. You have world-class talent. Don't make them go the same way as Rusev slash Miro and go elsewhere when you can actually do something for them now. That's my take on that. But 
since this is our first ever visual, we got we got we got to hit them with with the, with the with the good old good old. Where can they find you, mother f is at Scoop? Where can they find you at? Since oh, y'all can put a face to the voice, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm in this thing, y'all. But I'm at the Scooter Rate on Instagram. You see the name right there? It's right there. <laughs> the Scooter Rate on Instagram. But if y'all don't want to talk shit to me and want to come enjoy yourselves, less than stealthy ninjas. That's the that's the game. Less than stealthy ninjas. Me, boss, Aranya, um, Xerxes. <laughs> we usually stream on Twitch. Fridays and Saturday nights. But you can mm-hmm. always catch us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all of that. Less than Stealthy Ninjas. But once again, <laughs> if you want to bring me the smoke about this wrestling stuff at the Scooter Ray. Now, if you just sound reckless, I'm going to just ignore that shit. <laughs> if you bring valid points, I will counter your points. But if you just sound stupid and reckless and I ain't going to even read it, I'm so, that type of person. I'm not giving you the time of day. I won't <laughs> even give you the time of day. I'll see that. Hey, such and such wants to send you a message. Yeah, all right, delete. <laughs> so if you want to have a dialogue, we could do this. But if you want to act stupid, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Jaeger, go ahead and tell Shotzi where she can find you. You know what? I wasn't gonna do it, <laughs> but but since I'm talking to Shotzi, Shotzi, <laughs> oh shit, Shotzi, the lighting isn't great. I'm, I'm sorry, but also not sorry. It's it, it is what it is. Oh but, shit, Shotzi, if you want a game with me. My gamer tag, PlayStation, Xbox, Jaeger Bombastic. It's right there in the name. I think it's in like my bot, my bottom right corner. Could be. Could it's be in the bottom, bottom right. It's, it's, oh, it's yeah. in the bottom right. Well, no, it's, I mean, it's in my it bottom left. Bottom, but anyways. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> anyways. Uh, yeah, Jaeger Bombastic for the gaming. Uh, Twitch and IG. For the Hemza winning, let me let me say that again in three syllables, four syllables. Hemza winning. <clears throat> you can ask me about it all you want, but you got to actually ask me about it first. Oh, hey. Ooh, Anybody like else that. that feels like playing me in some games, feels like debating me on some wrestling topics, decides that I don't know shit just because I shit on WWE. <laughs> Bring it. I'm here. Scoop's here. Lips here. Oh, 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 I'm definitely here. <laughs> he is with all that smoke. I, I, I am going to be the corniest shit. You can call me Mr. Chimney because I want all the smoke. <laughs> chim Chimney. Chim Chimney. Chim Chim Karu. Anyways. <laughs> and on that note, all, uh, all, all what? One minute into that? Mr. D's life. How about you tell us where they can find you? Well, for starters, moving forward, I will have all the social media tags and everything scrolling across that bottom so that way you'll have it ingrained in your memory and always on the screen so that way there's no excuse for you not to follow. But for now, IG, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, all under Good old, hold up, right? Bam. <laughs> Lib- this. Of course, if you want that good old positivity shit, you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Lifestyle One Up. Of course, all your podcasts, listening needs, it's on there. Google it. I'm Googleable. Trust me. He really is. He really is, people. <laughs> He's really Googleable. But, is, uh, but, yeah, but as always, for you beautiful, beautiful mother effers, until next time, tag 
out. Out. Bada boom.